Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you. Little bit late, little bit late. That's okay. We're here. That's all that matters. Uh, today's the big one. Today is the big score. We're doing the rest of the law readings. We're doing Mr. Fridge and we're doing Nightfall. There will be a poll today. I'm just setting the intention, okay? So listen up. I'll be doing a poll. And you, because there seems to be a little bit of contention as to when I should do uh, when I should do the Mr. Fridge DLC, uh, you, I'll do a poll. You can decide whether I do it before or after Nightfall. It'll be completely up to you. Majority rules. Um, so that's how it's going to go. I think we should get into it as quick as possible because we do have quite a lot left. Um. Oh, that sucks, Lucky Cast. Well, the VOD will be available either way. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Fridge should canonical canonically be before Nightfall. But I've heard so many people say that there's like a specific thing if you do it afterwards. I don't know. Anyway. Thanks for the six bits in total, James. Appreciate that, dude. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to read that Slipknot. That seems like a spoiler-filled paragraph. Um, going pretty well, lols. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see here. Oh, wait. Mmm. Mmm. Permanent snow afterwards would kind of suck if that's what it is. But we're not going to be playing the game anymore afterwards on this save anyway, so... I don't know. Is that it? I'll just do it before then, if that's all that it is. <laughs> if that's all that it is, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Let's uh, let's go straight into it. We got some we got some business to attend to. I've been telling you this for days. Yeah, but I got I got to be careful what I read. Like. I half read messages that seem spoilery because I don't want the spoiler. You, some people are brazen. Like, I gotta be careful, you know? Some people are so brazen with the spoilers, I just I don't know what I'll encounter. Can't believe that this is the last main night stream. It is Trabic. It is Trabic indeed. <clears throat> uh, no, those reports are greatly exaggerated, Chops. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, that's just kind of the way. Honestly, this chat is pretty good, though, Line. Like, the amount of spoilers that I got throughout the entire night campaign was, like, a tiny, minuscule one. I can't even remember what it was. The fact that Oracle still being alive wasn't spoiled is insane to me. I cannot believe that. I, I still, like, I have to give you credit for life for that, you know what I mean? I have to for life because that was seriously impressive I thought for sure that I'd get at least some big spoiler but all right here we go the moment the moment has arrived I don't know um we were meant to get the readings done yesterday we did not get them done um, how many do we have left here? We've still got quite a few, eh? Like, I want to read them. But I I really wanted to get it done yesterday, but it just didn't transpire that way. Um, I guess we... Maybe what I could do... How many have we got left? One, two, three. So we've got 23 left. Is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so we got 23 left. Um, skim read? Yeah, I guess... Won't read them... How interested... I, I did want to read them before I finished the game. Hey, thanks a lot, lols. Yeah, it, it, it took a... It took a fucking while. <laughs> it's a, every time I start working on an episode, I'm just like... Blown away by how many steps there are. But I'm glad you liked it, dude. Hell yeah. Thanks for dropping in, Greg. Just do them at the end. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Let's let's read these three. We'll go and do Mr. Fridge, and then we'll see how we're feeling after Mr. Fridge. All right. Um. So we'll do Wallflower first. Where's my? We'll do. Where is my? Uh... Um. Give me a sec. There it is. That's what we're talking about. All right. Wallflower. So, wait, what did we read before Wallflower? We read, uh, Keep Your Friends Close, which is... It was an all right one. It wasn't too bad. Okay. Pamela stirred from her slumber and squinted at the lone orchid on her nightstand. Conventional wisdom says a, a Gloriosa could never survive in such dry, frigid conditions. Just as the doctors had predicted, she herself would wither and die within a month of her admittance to Seattle General's intensive care unit. Holy shit, that's a long sentence. Holy hell, how many, se how many words in that sentence? That started at conventional and ended at unit. Jesus. It had been almost six, and the flower was still- it was in full bloom, while Pamela had never felt stronger or more in tune with the world around her. The orchid had been a gift from her mentor, Professor Jason Wood Woodrew, the man who- who'd professed his love for her, then left her to die from a toxic cocktail of phy- phytho- phyto hormones he'd forced her to ingest in the lab they shared. Jesus, what a romantic guy. That sentence took me out. I think that shedded like three years off my lifespan. Um, Pamela's initial heartache seemed paltry in hindsight. She realized Woodrow's parting gift was far greater than even he could have imagined. The orchid spoke to her now, ethereal whispers of a world beyond these sterile walls, of a higher purpose, a new life. Pam Pamela feigned sleep while the door opened and the handsome specialist approached the bed to check on her. She thrust out an arm gripped the back of his neck with inhuman strength and pulled him in close. She's going to deliver the kiss of death. The man was powerless to resist as she planted a deadly kiss on his lips. What did that tell you? Timid wallflower, Pamela Isley was no more. Poison Ivy had arrived. All right, so that's just an origin story. I'm looking for the ones that give us a little bit of extra information on the Arkham universe. Like, this is meant to be wrapping it up, you know? Hey, thanks, Balls of Glory. Appreciate it, dude. That's lovely of you to say. All right. Come on, Just Jack. Hit me with something here. Jack Ryder's weekly column, only in the Herald. Hey there, Gotham. Jack's back. I know, I know, it's been a while, but I've been busy. Book deals, TV appearances, negotiations to syndicate this very column. Those things take time, Jack fans. Too much time, actually. And the agents never call you back. So I decided to give up on them. Besides, I already had a starring role in the televisual ser uh, televisual event of the season. Is this just him talking himself up again? Yep, that was my handsome face you saw sprouting from an immaculately tailored suit and giving evidence to the Arkham City Commission. And I just want to set the record straight. Yes, I said that Arkham City was illegal. Yes, I produced documentary evidence of prisoners being abused, degraded, forced to live in squalor, and nearly killed. And yes, I said that anyone exposed to such horrors should be released and generously compensated. But let's get one thing straight, Gotham. I was talking about me. Well, what is new there? Tell me something I don't know. I didn't need to see that crap. I shouldn't have even been there. I saw one guy eating his own arm when food supplies ran low. When food supplies ran low, sorry. His own arm. I mean, he didn't even- he didn't look like he was accustomed to hot cuisine on the other side of the wall. But me? I dine well, Gotham. And I need therapy. <laughs> I needed therapy after. Yeah, no shit. Jesus. So all you losers sending me hate mail, stop it. It's not my fault all the crooks got free. I just wanted Gotham City to repay its debt to me. And I'm sure you do too. Hashtag justice for Jack Ryder. Hashtag Jack Ryder gate. Oh my god. This fucking guy. Somebody fucking throw this guy in a pit with a hungry animal or something. Get him out of here. 
Release the Jack cut? How about... Cut Jack and then release him into the wild. To fend for himself. Alright, the fall. I think I heard... Did, did we read the fall? Did we read the fall? I don't think... I don't think we read the fall, but I think somebody mentioned the fall. Somebody mentioned this one? Alright. Batman was wrong. He'd always been wrong about Joker. There was no madhouse qualified. No prison secure enough. Jason knew that now, after what he'd seen tonight. Alright, we're getting some Jason lore. This is good. Little arms, little legs, little heads. Crudely, mockingly stitched together. He'd come straight from the kindergarten. Jesus, where are we going with this? Followed a trail of innocent blood back to Arkham Asylum. Jesus. Okay. Tracker switched off. Cal communications disabled. He was a ghost. Batman wouldn't fight him until it was done. Weeping parents fighting over patchwo patchwork corpses. The sanatorium had been derelict for years. A burnt out patch of dead earth on top. A forgotten warren of cells below. Good, Jason thought. He's already in the dirt. There was a moral line that Bruce had sworn never to cross. Jason would cross it for him. Oh, this is juice. This is juice. Jason had been watching a grief-stricken mother piece her son together when the kindergarten speaker system came to life. This is... wild. No, Robin, he thought. Push it down. Jason pulled back the heavy iron doors that would have once led into a laundry chute and dropped into the dark. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty hum, what, what is he doing here? Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, Joker sang. It was a net, halfway down, that caught him. It broke with his weight, sending him tumbling out of the end of the chute onto the granite floor. Or granite floor. Jason gritted his teeth, breathed through the... The first swing of the crowbar took out his two teeth. Let's go, crowbar mentioned. Crowbar appearance. Gra. Let's go. The second broke his ankle. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again, Joker was singing. Oh wait, okay, so that's that's his capture. That's... Is that how uh, Jason ended up in the uh, custody of the Jonkler? Mmm. I like that. It's always nice... Well, not always nice, but... I like that... Jason's dynamic with Bruce is always like like it's very dark but Joker has to take it that extra step far and that's usually the tipping point for Jason to be like this guy needs to go like this guy needs to be dead I, I can't just I can't just witness his downfall I have to be a part of it that's kind of where he's coming from that was the Jason story I was talking about yesterday. John Cliss sewed a bunch of kindergartners to get... Yeah, like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I like that. What's my favorite take on Batman, both actor-wise, voice actor, and live action and movie-wise? Hmm, I got a pretty basic top three, I think. I think my top three are obviously... Um, Kevin Conroy for voice. Um... And probably Robert Pattinson for actor. And what else did you ask? Um, where, 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 where was that? Yeah, favorite voice actor for, for Batman is Kevin Conroy, obviously. I mean, you, you can't really do much better than that. Um, and yeah, okay, that's all you asked, yeah. Those are probably my two. <clears throat> In terms of uh, voice and live action. Ranking for the for the Jonkler? I mean, same thing. It's it's such a basic answer, but how can you go better than Mark Hamill for Joker? I don't think you can. Listen to it. Will we see Fridge and his wipe today? Yeah, we'll, we'll see Fridge and his wipe. Don't worry. <clears throat> Never liked the Nolan trilogy? I like the Nolan tr trilogy. Love the Nolan trilogy as movies, but if it's like... They are far, far away from my favorite versions of Batman. Like, I think the movies are amazing. But, um... Yeah, the the version of Batman is not my favorite. 
Dark Knight Rises is kind of stinky. I don't think the movie's stinky. You just can't... You can't come off the back of the Dark Knight and... and I just think that's like... The... That was definitely just always going to be the peak of the uh, trilogy, you know? Um, I still think Rises is awesome from memory. We all know the bat nipple are your favorite version. Yeah, well, George Clooney does have a pair we of nips on him, to be fair. Version. Thanks for the 100, dude. Christian Bale was goaded. I didn't love Christian Bale as, as Batman. I, I liked him. I liked him more when he was being Bruce Wayne. To be honest. No one ever mentions the Rob Nips. What have I been saying? Alright, we'll we'll do Let's do three more. We're we're blasting through these pretty fast. I say we do three more, and then we'll go and at least start Mr. Fridge. And then Nightfall. Alright, fixation. I do not allow him visitors, Warden Sharp sputtered angrily as Batman walked past. It's not a social call. This is a Lester moment. Inside the cell, harsh fluorescent bulbs bounced their light off the sterile, white padded walls. It's really you. You're here. The cell's straight-jacketed occupant flung himself from the corner of the room until he was slobbering, weeping at Batman's armored boots. I'm so glad it's you, Bats, Joker sobbed. They think I'm mad. Batman kicked upwards, flipped the maniac onto his back. Holy hell. Bruce, calm down and brought the foot back down to pin him there. Three dead, all children. You've been locked up here since Blackgate. Batman pushed down, ribs cracked. Tell me how. Open. The sudden violence, the guttural sound of Batman's roar surprised them both. Batman backed towards the door, appalled. Suddenly freed, Joker rolled on the floor, hysterical. I knew it, he giggled. I knew you cared. Batman drew his cape around himself, pushed the anger. It's like his safety blanket, you know? Uh, the sudden self-disgust back down. You got out, Joker. How? Maybe I am mad. Joker scrabbled backwards, leaned against the wall. Because this is the first I'm hearing of it. He paused then and spoke with sickening sincerity. I didn't kill your kitties, and you don't need excuses to drop by. When Sharp returned with security, <clears throat> Joker was alone, grinning ear to ear. I'm in his head, Sharpie. <laughs> Sharpie. Literal pen. Literal ink, boy. Okay. That was okay. Is is that at all in connection to the, uh... The kindergartners? Was that... that I don't think so, right? He just killed more children? It could be. That's years before that? Oh, true. No, you're right. Yeah, no, true. Because, uh... Because... Is this, like, meant to be sort of just after Origins or something? Maybe? Hard, it's hard to piece together the timeline. And I'm not sure if it's because... Not much after Origins, Dick became Robin. Right. He do be giggling. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't know if it's hard to piece together the timeline because the timeline's all over the place or just because I'm not, like, super knowledgeable about each uh, time that the events took place. Like, it drops little hints and stuff that you can easily miss. Um, alright, we'll do two more. <clears throat> Should play the Switch version of Arkham Knight. Yeah, that looks, uh, looks rough. Gotham's no place to, uh, no, no kind of place to raise a child. No shit. Those were Ellen's first words when he told her about the promotion and transfer to the GCPD. If you're a cop and you get promoted and transferred to Gotham, you're not being promoted, okay? That's no, that's no promotion. To say the move had put a strain on their marriage would be an understatement. The first few months were difficult, but gradually she'd established roots, made new friends, warmed to life in the city. Commissioner Gordon had even promised to use his influence to secure their son Tyler a place at McCallum Academy. Academy. Life was good. Then Arkham City happened. Ellen's doubts resurfaced. 
the honeymoon period was over. He'd convinced her to stick it out for another year. If things didn't improve, they'd move back to her family in Keystone. The promise was a gamble. He hated Keystone as much as he hated the in-laws, and at the time, Gotham looked like it was spiraling into the abyss. But now, nine months on, as he stood with his family among a throng of tourists on the Lady of Gotham's viewing platform, he was satisfied that the gamble had paid off. There was a different feel about Gotham these days. Oh, that's... Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing the third slide of this story is gonna, gonna go badly. Joker was dead, the nightmare of Arkham City was a distant memory, and crime continued to fall. As will you now fall off the Gotham... Lady Gotham statue and be dead. Across the water, amid the glittering lanterns of Chinatown, Halloween decorations were being hoisted high above the street. Dad, are you gonna take me to the parade? Sorry, kiddo. D Daddy has to work. But your mother will take you, right, honey? Ellen jabbed him in the ribs, smiling. Whatever you say, Officer Owens. Okay, so that's just like a... Here we are, it's gonna be a really lovely Halloween, and then... The, uh... Events of Arkham Knight take place. Rip. Sad day for Oban. Yeah, Oban got whacked. That's so sag. Alright, let's do change of heart, and then let's go see Mr. Fridge, hey? More guns, Mr. Wayne. Oh, that's Lucius, not Alfred. My mistake. I'm so sorry. Said Lucius, eyeing the proposed specifications for the new Batmobile. They were in Lucius's office. Bruce's office, technically, though Lucius spent most time here. Bruce had turned up, dutifully, for the biannual depart departmental head... Jesus, tongue twister. Bruce had turned up dutifully for the biannual departmental heads meeting at Wayne Tech. How about shoot me in the head before asking me to read that again? Lucius had watched Bruce work the room, smiling and shaking the hands of senior technicians, biochemists, engineers, software security experts, making just enough informed conversation with Lucius's chief systems engineer to impress, yet not shock her. These sentences are long, dude. They are large Big Mac meal. Um, and then he and Bruce had retired here. Officer Owens is the cop from the start of the game. Oh, jeez. That's a sad story. How did I miss that? How did I miss that? Jesus, thanks for the hundred lols. I, I wouldn't have even thought of that. Okay, that makes that story a lot more interesting. Big Owens. What's he doing these days? Is he still... Yeah, he... No, he's a little bit better. We saw him after the main story, right? He's no longer in a cell. If you're lucky, you can make him not shoot. Yeah, I just started unloading, dude. I was just clicking R2. Um, okay, where are we here? And then he and Bruce had retired here. Lucius doubted anyone else had noticed Wayne favoring his right leg as it recovered from whatever he'd subjected it to the night before. Can you do it? Bruce asked. All the easy charm from the meeting room was gone. It would seem like unfriendliness to a casual observer, Lucius thought, but it was the opposite. Bruce did his friends, the people he trusted, the honor of not pretending. Lucius smiled. It wouldn't be easy. Wayne Tech had been out of the arms industry for a while. Could claim the guns for testing materials when he made the order, he reasoned, and do all the prototyping alone. Why the change of heart, Mr. Wayne? Lucius, Lucius, always the pragmatist, had long campaigned for a more offensively equipped Batmobile, just in case. Bruce had resisted him until now. But ever since Joker died, his employer had been... Not aggressive, exactly. Lucius couldn't quite identify the change. Just in case, Bruce said, as he left the room. Well, that's a cool one. So that sort of suggests what? That... So Lucius had been wanting to make a more aggressive Batmobile for a while. Bruce didn't want to do it. And then Bruce decided, yeah, actually, let's get a fucking war machine up in here. But when he says, but ever since Joker died, his employee had been not aggressive exactly. I, I thought Bruce had gotten more aggressive. And sort of less... Less, um, I don't know. Joker being in his head made him silently more aggressive. 
Yeah, then why does he say, but ever since Joker died, his employee, his employer had been not aggressive exactly? I'm confused about that. Because I thought the sort of through line was that once Joker was in his head, he was becoming more aggressive. And, and then also, not just from Joker, but also the trauma of what happened in City kind of fucked him up a bit. <clears throat> After Arkham City, crime went down. <laughs> that is... <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is such a... <laughs> That's funny, Whiskey. I don't know why, that just reminds me of like a forest fire... <laughs> animation is like bit or something you know it's lucius's pov he doesn't know what's going on he's just noticing a gradual change no i understand that but wouldn't he be noticing bruce getting slightly more aggressive i mean isn't that the whole point of this story am i i must be misreading something here because bruce has had a change of heart like yeah let's get a more aggressive batmobile It's like the it's like these two sentences contradict each other. Bruce had resisted him until now, and then but ever since Joker died, his employee his employer had been not aggressive. I don't know, I'm missing something there. I feel like we should read um down the rabbit hole. I did kill the Riddler, yes. Murdered him in the street. We'll do down the rabbit hole and then we'll go attack Mr. Fridge for his lunch money. His lunch money that he was planning on using to help his wife, or his wife rather. Um, is it's good to see you, man. Thanks for the 10 bits. I've been good. Thanks for dropping in. Not exactly aggressive means that he's still different and more hostile. I don't know if I'm illiterate or not, but I don't get that from that sentence. It's phrasing is, like, strange. <clears throat> Did you miss something? Uh, just the going through the stories before we finish the game entirely, Mandalorian. Oh, no, I understand. Okay, okay. No, I get, I get what you mean, Banana. I still think that's a weird way to word it, but I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Not exactly aggressive, but kind of like not exactly aggressive but like he's been a little a little bit crazy is sort of all right i get you i get you he hasn't seen the urologist recently well that would explain the agitation yeah yeah you're right cj spot on brother does it have a comma there and i was just re misreading it yeah, no, the ellipsis makes it, st it, it we we could have done it. We could have done with a comma. Are we grammatically judging these <laughs> these back computer submissions? All right. Down the rabbit hole. Here we go. There was a comma though. No, there was, but there was an, an ellipsis where I don't know, it kind of made it strange to read. The shears chipped and rusted blades squeaked open narrowly missing the neck as they collected a soft clump of blonde hair. There, there, pretty. Don't move an inch. These bolted daggers smite more than a pinch. I forgot he speaks in rhymes. Alright, sick. In return, a whimper stifled beneath thick duct tape. Had his grubby fingers. He does have grubby fingers. Had his grubby fingers gripped and squirmed around the cutter's oversized ears, one in each hand. Squinting, his tongue curled up in concentration. A pile of butchered wigs lay tossed behind him. This was the last one, and it had to be a success. In for a penny, in for a pound. Let's hope it's just hair that falls to the ground. He's going to shear some ears off. Like a crocodile's bite, the shears clapped shut, followed by the thudded wobble of a stool as Hatter hopped down onto the floor to gauge his work. Wait, oh, there we go. Fra frab juice. Is this a French word? Any, any, anybody from France in here want to give me the rundown on a frab juice? 
or, or what what would that usually be a frabois i don't know i'm i'm no french expert i knew i should have listened in grade five french class <clears throat> what a win now for the hairs on your chinny chin chin had a placed the shears down and picked up a cutthroat razor delicately fanning out the blade as he turned to face his terrified creation queen-like and flanked by a row of defiled mannequins he couldn't get over how well the blue dress fit the man's slender frame oh damn but then that was why he chose him he'll do for now had a thought until someone better came along someone just like his alice again not really giving us any extra but um still pretty good subzaya hell yeah holy hell thanks thanks lols i appreciate it man three months is wild thanks for the prime dude frab frab juice is a nonsense word for the jabberwocky poem i have no idea what the jabberwocky poem is um <clears throat> was the hatter making femboys it seems like it this does give you extra when you consider the stories were made before the had a DLC. I forget that they are DLC. No, that's actually a good point. That's a good point. Man, I, I kind of feel like we're flying through these right now. If I can fly through the next row in like seven minutes, we might be good. I would really like to have everything done before we do nightfall i really i really would like to do that um let's see if we can fly through <clears throat> dr kirk langstrom surveyed the miracle of evolution splayed out on the table before him desmodus rotundus the common vampire bat it was perhaps wait was man bat man bat wasn't dlc was he thanks for the bit dom Bro, does the Hatter sell any femboys? No, I think he just kills them after. <clears throat> no, he wasn't. Okay. Okay. It was perhaps the most magnificent creature he'd ever studied up close. Aside from Francine, of course. Okay. Strange. Call your wife a creature, but anyway. Langstrom dialed up the volume on the sound system and shut his eyes, letting Brahms' third symphony swell in his ears. Oh, he's got taste. My boy Kirk Langstrom's got, got taste. The music conjured memories of happier times with his beautiful wife before his diagnosis, before the rot set in. The tinnitus had been subtle at first, like the low hum of a refrigerator. Mr. Fridge reference, this is so crazy. In another room, a mildly irritating whine he couldn't quite place yet couldn't quite ignore. As the weeks wore on, the noise grew overwhelming until Kirk could hear nothing else unless he concentrated hard enough. The doctor's words, however, had been loud and clear. Kirk's affliction was rare, chronic, and irreversible. The thought of never enjoying his favorite symphonies again was agonizing, but it was Francine's voice he would miss the most. I don't know if anybody else is seeing this, but every time he says Francine, it's just Francine from American Dad with a vine boom effect in my head. Yes, I have brain rot, clinically diagnosed, but that's what's happening here. It's really taking the wind out of this story's sails. <clears throat> Francine's voice he would miss the most, the subtle inflection she adopted when she teased him, and the way she laughed, as though the little girl inside her had never grown up. Kirk wasn't prepared to let all that go without a fight. He was a man of science, for Christ's sake, and science would find a way. The answer, Kirk knew, was staring up at him from the dissection table. Ah, okay, right. Right, I didn't know it was just chronic tinnitus. That to <laughs> this fucking genetic mutation to cure tinnitus. That's wild. <clears throat> All right, that one was pretty good. Read Jabberwocky right now. We got a lot of reading to do right now. Let remind me. If you play or set your system's clock to Halloween while exploring the map, you get something interesting. Oh, interesting. That just sounds interesting. Jabberwocky plid. We got a lot of reading here. Give me a moment. That is a goofy R uh, portrait. Legacy. All right, come on, give me, give me something good here. Legacy. We haven't really topped um, resolutions, frozen out, or 
uh, homecoming yet. Give me something good here, Legacy. Bruce gripped his father's hand as the elevator rocketed skyward. Confined spaces still made him anxious, but his father provided comfort, just as he did on just as he did on all those nights. Bruce would wake screaming, paralyzed by fear, reliving the moment he'd found himself so trapped. So I'm in understanding from all of these stories and character bios is. These people are fucking nuts. They're fucking nuts. This is what happens when you don't watch an Isaiah stream. You go fuck- Yeah, they're nuts, dude. They're absolutely nuts through and through. This whole fucking city. Just ruined mentally. <laughs> Thanks for the hundred, Adam. Uh, where are we here? Reliving the moment he'd found himself trapped inside the, b the dank, bat-infested cave beneath the grounds of the manor. Usually that happens before- uh, after his- parents cop a bullet, right? Usually? I don't know. He breathed a sigh of relief when the elevator finally slowed to a halt and the doors opened into Thomas Wayne's plush new office at the summit of Wayne Tower. Does he- does Bruce not usually fall into the dank, bat-infested cave after his parents, you know, get, um, sent to the afterlife? sent back to the lobby. Isn't it implied in that Origins trailer as well? Not not that this really matters, but... In that Origins trailer, isn't it implied that it happens after? They're usually still alive and grittying, really? I, yeah, I, I guess. Typically before? What, what am I on then? What have I been interacting with? If you go with the trailers as canon, then the game takes place as 2013. Timeline for the Arkham games is, like, impossible. Um, thanks for the 10, Adam. <laughs> Jesus. You're from an alternate universe? Could be. Alright, let's go. Um, he breathed a sigh of relief when the elevator finally slowed to a halt and the doors opened into Thomas Wayne's plush new office at the summit of Wayne Tower. Take a look, son, his father said, leading Bruce to the vast windows overlooking Gotham's smog-shrouded skyline. The boy pressed his palms against the cold glass, Mr. Cold reference, and felt a dizzying rush as he gazed down at the miniature city below. Gotham's been good to us, Bruce, and we have a responsibility to give something back. The tower is just the beginning of our legacy, a legacy I hope you'll continue long after I'm gone. Yeah, well... It couldn't, it couldn't come soon enough, I say. Bruce looked up to meet his father's eyes. The thought of losing him had never crossed the young boy's mind, and suddenly Bruce was back in that cave, alone. The piercing screech of bats filling his ears. Yep, well, they seem like a nice family. I hope they live on and prosper. Prodigal? Prodigal son? Alright. Let's finish this row at least, come on now. We can read. This is a Nightwing reference. This is a Nightwing cameo. Let's have a look here. Nightwing grappled to the warehouse roof and secreted himself in darkness. He'd chased the truck here on foot and was using a technique Bruce had taught him to control his breathing. A plume of steaming breath could easily give away his position to the guards by the skylight. Not that they sounded very observant. I hate this stinking place. Give me Gotham any day, the first thug said. Yeah, sooner we get back there, the better, his buddy replied. I'm so proud of you, dick. Nightwing was well aware of his adopted city's, uh, his adopted city's shortcomings. But he just didn't need to hear it from these goons. He considered taking them out, sneaking further inside. No, best to do this clean. Still, no way we could get away with something like this with the Batman, but the Batman around, the Batman around. No, are these... Do these goons have a speech impediment, or is that me? Who we got to worry about here? Nightwing? He's like baby Batman. Oh, they, they're going to get beated up right now by the Batman men. Two electrified escrima sticks bounced up and struck the base of both skulls, cutting their laughter short. That nerve was as raw now as the day he left the manor. Bruce had sent him away like a parent packing a, teen, a teenage son off to college. He wa we, but why, why can't I speak today? He wasn't grown up yet, not in Bruce's eyes. Looking down through the angled glass, scores of men were busy at work. 
Hundreds of crates, thousands of guns. The operation was bigger than he thought, and it was heading to back. It was heading to back to Gotham. See, that's not even just me. And it was heading to back to Gotham. I want you to remember that. Can we get a DLC patch that fixes that sentence, please? And it was heading to back to Gotham. You missed this one, Bruce. This college kid was going home. He's so epic. At the end of the day, let's just not forget that it was heading to back to Gotham, and that needs to be fixed in the day... How many days since this game released? The, the five-year patch, okay? Yeah, they put... <laughs> the writers put all their effort into, uh... If you weren't here yesterday... Describing Deadshot's laser from his weapon... Brush... Like, being aimed at Bruce's chest. They... They described that as... What was it? It was, uh licking somebody's nipple a lover's nipple let me go back real quick in case you missed that it was the dead shot story uh it was cheap shot right um yeah then i saw it the laser sight playing like a lover's tongue across his nipple that it like who wrote that 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 is to describe dead shot aiming at bruce's chest by the way like come on now be real for a second. Alright, masquerade, let's go. Screw Dad, and screw Bruce Wayne. Bar Barbara walked through Wayne Manor, dropping the mask and cape from her masquerade ball outfit. She should have guessed that the other people would have had the bad idea too. Not that it mattered. Oh, this is cool. I always like when Batgirl is like, more so trying to prove herself, rather than immediately being like, welcomed into the fold, you know? Um... <clears throat> Uh, she should have guessed that other people would have had the bad idea too. Not that it mattered. Whatever she wore, she'd still be 20 years younger than everybody here. Jeez, she'd rather dad started dating again than drag her to these things. Oh wait, maybe I misinterpreted what was going on here. At least she had a laptop, thank god. She just needed an access point that wasn't buried beneath 15 layers of paranoid rich guy encryption. The library, maybe? Barbara pulled back the huge oak door and slipped into the room, set her computer on the desk, and... Damn it. We're not all billionaires, Bruce. Some of us need to check we haven't been outbid on that new pair of escrima sticks. What is it with escrima sticks in this family? In fact, Barbara decided, didn't rich guys like Wayne owe people like her a little unauthorized net access from time to time? She used the program she'd written to crack GCPD's network the time... <clears throat> the time Dad left her sitting in an interview room during Bring Your Daughter to Work Day. It was fast, and it found hidden networks too. Not that Bruce Wayne would need many of... Huh? Where? What was Entrance 6? The signal was strong, close by. Even stronger than the library wireless, in fact. What the hell, Barbara thought, as she tore its defenses apart? She felt it before she heard anything. A cold gust of air as the bookcase behind her disappeared. Wait, so she stumbled onto the Batcave in this one? A little bit of a, uh, moment moment? That's cool. I like that. Pretty cool. It, it is funny to think that Bruce's network would just be like, I don't know, visible that way, but not bad. All right, we'll read Payback and Dollatron. And then we'll read... I've already read the Sharp story, so that's fine. Um, have I read any of these others? I don't think. I did read the Vicky Vale one. Um, yeah, and then we'll read the others after we do Mr. Fridge quickly. All right. Payback. Payback time. No, we needed to stay focused on those riddles. We would have been there for a lifetime. Oh, no, wait, because you unlock these with the riddles. Yeah, maybe you're right. Either way, it's fine. These reading passages have been fun. Um, Penguin yelped as his foot broke through a sodden floorboard. Moments later, one of his bodyguards burst into the room, brandishing a pistol. I heard a scream. He saw Penguin trying to ex extricate himself. What does extricate mean? Let me lock this one in real quick. 
uh, free someone or something from a constraint or, uh, or difficulty. Okay. Extricate. Um, <clears throat> use context clues? Well, I mean, I didn't even know that he was, he was trapped. Like, what here is to tell me that he's trying to free himself from something? Come on, brother. I heard a scream. He saw a Penguin trying to extricate himself. Boss, what's wrong? Yeah, we expand in our vocabulary. Hey, I'm not afraid to admit when I don't know what a word is. I've never fucking seen extricate before. Or I have. It says it like two lines down. Do you know what context clues are? How can I have the context clue before I even have seen it? Jesus. Oh yeah, just use the context clue on page 74. Oh, you're reading page 36? Oh, well, you're just a fucking idiot. <clears throat> okay. Use precognition clues? This is what I'm talking about. Anyway. What does it look like? The bodyguard scrambled to find the words. He hoped it wasn't a trick question. Never mind, Penguin barked. Just help me. Holstering his gun, the bodyguard heaved Penguin free and started brushing the watery pulp from his trousers. Watery pulp? The fuck is going on here? Watery pulp? Get out of it, Penguin snapped. Watery pulp? Jesus. Finding his balance against a windowsill. Out there, looming above, Gotham's latest monstrosity, Wayne Plaza. This was my old man's study, Penguin proclaimed. It'd kill him if he had to see that pro that poxy thing day and night. Cobblepot Manor had been derelict for years, left to rot. In Penguin's mind, just the way Bruce Wayne wanted it. I read that sentence completely wrong. In Penguin's mind, just the way Bruce Wayne wanted it. A permanent re reminder of defeat. The bodyguard was tugging at a strip of wallpaper. So I guess we wait for the compensation, huh? Not likely. Penguin, sco <laughs> Penguin scooting is a really nice uh, mental image. Penguin scooted back to the broken floorboard. Penguin doesn't scoot, okay? Penguin, like, trudges. <laughs> Penguin waddles, all right? Like, I, Penguin don't scoot ever in his life. The man, the man's got watery pulp in his trousers. I mean, can we just like be real for a second? Penguin scooted back to the broken floorboard, dropped to his knees, and plunged his arm into the hole. You think I'm waiting around for Gotham City to cough up? You got another thing coming. With that, he pulled out a yellowing wad of paper. The deeds to a company operating out of Bloodhaven, North Refrigeration. Penguin pocketed his ace and lit a cigar. Don't count the cobble pots out yet, Mr. Wayne. Yeah, Cobblepot is uh, definitely scooting with watery pulp in his trousers, that's for sure. That's for sure. Me at 3am telling my mum I have watery pulp in my bottom clothes. What? <laughs> oh god. We've been reading for an hour? God damn. How does it take so long? What is, what is happening here? Alright, let's do Dolatron. Mr. O'Neill staggered into the spotlight alone, gripping a briefcase. Beyond the harsh light, the depths of the circus tent were a black void. He squinted, trying to focus. His sleep-deprived mind was playing tricks. He thought for a moment he could see an audience. Welcome, a, bo a voice boomed oper operatically. You do be opera singing, though. This is a, uh, uh Dolatron is, um, M Professor Pig's bullshit. All right. We are getting to Fridge. Relax, okay? I said that this was going to happen. I'm not just doing Fridge. I want to read these before I finish the game. Don't make me point to the sign. You already know what's going to happen in Nightfall anyway. This is... Like, come on now. The sign will be pointed to aggressively. The spotlight shifted. There he was, the pig-masked man who'd summoned him. The professor, standing proudly behind a small boy, his blood-tinged fing uh, hands finger-drumming those delicate shoulders. A pained murmur sounded from the child, muffled through a plain white face mask. At its edge, uh, a shoreline of weeping, fused flesh. 
his salted slug of a tongue writhing in the mouth slit. Please never speak again, for the sake of it all. The horror wasn't unimaginable. It was there, in front, in front of him. It was a, f it was fact. Just as he was a parent, and this was his son, butchered and transformed. O'Neill's stomach imploded and bent him double, retching onto the straw-bedded ground. Jesus Christ. Daddy man is upset, whined the professor. <laughs> Daddy man not pleased with our work. He loosed a terrifying squeal. The young boy moaned like a busted instrument. D uh, Daddy man's got money. Oh wait, no, that's O'Neill speaking. I've got money. O'Neill wiped the bile from his mouth, then popped the briefcase and threw it to the ground. Wads of green packed tight. Give me my son. Blid. The professor shook his head. Not your son now. Daddy man's Dolatron. Before O'Neill could fathom the meaning of that word, something caught his eye. There in the void, they were being watched. Faces shuffled closer. Plain white masks, dozens of them, encircled. Sons, mothers, fathers, once like him. That one's pretty fucking spooky. Like, it's okay to- it's okay to walk into Professor Pig's bullshit when you're the Batman, because you'll be fine at the end of the day. But being one of his victims, and sort of just being a regular Joe, he, like, let's not forget here for a second, Daddy Man in question. Uh, where is he? Where is Daddy Man? Daddy Man in question is fucking six foot one, at a whopping 220 pounds. Now, what is that in kilograms? In normal people measurements. So he's a hundred kilo. He's a fucking beast of a bloke. He's a beast of a bloke. I would... Uh, I would not be able to contend with that. I'll tell you that right now. Beast of a bloke. We read Sharp's suicide. That the the end of Sharp was pretty interesting. I didn't know he was such a simp for Hugo. But I yeah, I'm, I'm, it makes sense. The whole like process behind getting Arkham City up and running probably couldn't have been done without him. Um, did we read Demon's Head? I think we did read Demon's Head. I swear we did. You know what? You know what? I think, um... Somebody wants me to... You guys want me to read Social Outcast? We'll skip the Social Outcast here. Why do you attack Batman? He is based. You are a fa. Riddler deleted the email and all the others like it as prickly hot anger and shame squirmed through his insides. <laughs> Jesus. Why you attack Batman? He based. Broodman based. He's big. He's large. Um. <clears throat> uh. No point denying it. Hashtag Crusadergate had been a disastrous social media campaign. So this game came out when? How many times am I going to ask this? 2017, right? Um, 2017? 2015. So this has so many references to like social media controversies, conspiracies, how they sort of pass around. If they were doing this much in 2015... It makes me wonder, like, GTA 6 is going to focus so much on that, I think. There was that one leak already where uh, the whole... Like, they, tu they touched on the conspiracy theorist angle in 5 as well. But a lot of it was, like, country bumpkin, you know, living out in the sticks, basically, like, tinfoil hat type of dudes, right? Building alien spaceships in their warehouse, that kind of thing. The, the thing that I think GTA 6 is going to focus on so uh, a lot more is the, the internet conspiracy stuff. You could already see in that leak by the pool where the guy was talking about 
I can't fucking remember what it was. He, he was going on about um, some sort of conspiracy. I can't remember what it was. I feel like they're going to lean into it so much because it's so prominent on the internet these days. It was already pretty prominent in 2015, apparently. I don't really remember it like that, but um, yeah. I reckon it's going to lean into it a lot. Um, anyway. <clears throat> uh, he couldn't understand it. It seemed the internet's idiotic and easily roused rabble could froth itself into a full cat, ca full fat cappuccino, cat cappuccino, Jesus, of frenzy over white nights. But offer it up a dark one on a plate, and you get a soy latte's worth of indignation at best. Didn't they understand what Batman had done? The memories rise up like bile. Riddler is back in Arkham City. Batman places an explosive hat. Riddler's own invention on his head, forces him to march in endless circles lest the device detonates. It's hours before Riddler realizes the trick, that the explosives had been diffused. Is this an Arkham City 100% Riddler spoiler right here? Is that what this is? God damn it. Does Bruce actually do that? That seems a little bit cruel by Bruce's standards. That's, uh, what, he, he put an explosive cap on him that was diffused and just had him marching around? That is hilarious. Oh, that's awesome. That, al that almost makes me want to do the city trophies just to have the satisfaction, you know? That's hilarious. That's what I mean. Br I feel like Bruce in Night wouldn't do that. Even though he's more aggressive, like, that just feels like a comical thing to do. He cries if you get in his way? That's awesome. 440 trophies is enough to make me just want to watch the cutscene on YouTube, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, anyway, that's pretty funny. Uh, having borne witness to his shame, this computer was, was tainted now. Yet Riddle paused. He still had electrical burns from the last time he'd angrily ripped 128 gigs of RAM from a motherboard. He's so baited. He's so based. His search for a hammer concluded when another email arrived. To the owner of Enigmatic Holdings LTD, Gotham City Council hereby approves your purchase of the dis disused sewage and water processing facilities beneath the city, it began. For the first time in months, Edward smiled. So that's how he was building all that shit underground. So those tunnels were technically already there. Here I am thinking he's got some giant fucking Arkham Knight drill machine or something. Um, okay, that one was good. That was that was among the uh, the top ones. Shout out, crewmate. Um, yeah, social outcast, homecoming, resolutions, frozen out. Those are like the best ones so far. Social outcast is up there. Um, all right, let the fucker, let's finish these. They're good. I like them. The demon's head. The messenger dropped down onto the puddled street and stayed crouched in shadow, her hand resting on the hilt of a katana. Caution was innate, trained into every sinew and fiber of her body. Thanks for the bit, Alexa. Sorry you didn't get a notification. <clears throat> yeah, no, I don't want him to kill the vibe after fridge. If, you, if, if hearing me read pains you that much, feel free to come back in like 10 to 20 minutes. <clears throat> come on, fella. Some of them There's are genuinely so very good. Let's I like the done. extra context. Makes the story feel more fleshed out. Um, thanks for the 100, CJ. Yeah, I think we'll get them done. <clears throat> um, as always, you know, a loud minority of, of people are usually the ones to have a problem. It's fine. Um, she waited for the drunken couple to stagger past and approached her canvas, a wall of decaying posters. She unfolded the stencil and held it in place. The small nozzle concealed in her wrist guard released a pressurized spray of black paint. With a few waves of her hand, the image was complete. It would join the others she had spent the night emblazoning on Gotham's walls. Most people would think it was just another work of art. They wouldn't know of the war that raged, the war to bring him back, to resurrect Ra's al Ghul. The air whistled, instinct turned her head as a blade grazed skin and embedded itself in the center of the dripping insignia. 
The assassin stepped out, uh, stepped out of her throwing stance and drew a sword from her back. You openly defy the League of Assassins? What are you not based? The penalty is dead. Wiping the blood from her cheek, the messenger faced her enemy. There is no League without him. That is the truth. Surveying her surroundings, the assassin approached. You will not find his body. What makes you think we're still looking? The messenger unsheathed her katana. The demon's head will live again. That was pretty good. Kind of like giving a little bit more. You know what's really distracting though? Is the font that they've used in the image, the demon's head. That, I, I'm almost certain that's a font called Chinese Rocks. And it's the red, it's the red dead, <laughs> it's the red dead redemption font. I use that font so much that I could, I could recognize it anywhere. Um, that is Chinese rocks right there. It makes it almost look like a, like a Photoshop mock-up. You know what I mean? I just use it so much. Jesus. Red dead mentioned, gra. All right. That was good. I like that. Not too much additional information, but I do find this sort of, uh, League of... League of Assassins, League of Shadows, uh, Civil War kind of interesting. TGB 13, when? Man, when I... St I'm not even gonna say soon. I'm just gonna say... Eventually. Alright, Critter. Roach wrenched against his restraints and watched the beetles. I, actually, I wanted more context behind this little room, so this this should be interesting. Um, and watched the beetles skitter across Sca Scarecrow's gloved hand. It, he wasn't sure what made him sicker: Scarecrow's creepy new face, or the rock, or the rocking of the damn cargo container they were hidden inside. Joker would find him surely. They couldn't have gone far from the steel mill. Fascinating creatures, aren't they? Scarecrow said. So small, so not large. Crane was holding a bug by one of its legs, uh, by one of its legs now, as the other five limbs scrabbled at the air. A wave hit the boat and the poor thing swung back and forth. No warning colors either. He dropped the bug to the floor. It scuttled towards Roach. It scuttled toward, is Roach the henchman? Who fought back to the urge to, so, okay, listen, can we get a day, can, can we get a year, can we get a year, Eight or nine? Can we get a year eight patch, please? It scuttled towards Roach, who fought back to the urge to stamp on it. He didn't want to look afraid. Do they want their predators to fall for it? Scarecrow asked, watching another insect creep across his palm to sink their teeth into this fragile shell. Scarecrow made a fist, crushing the insect in his hand. The beast that does so the beast that does so will regret it, Scarecrow explained, wiping the mashed up insect into a glass beaker. Not through sickness or death, he added chemicals to the beaker now, muddling the mixture into a greenish black, sludgy cocktail. Sounds pretty good to me. But through the hallucinations this creature's toxic secretions cause, through the beating of their overworked heart, the adrenaline coursing through their bloodstream through fear. He's talking sludge. He turned to Roach now, the beaker in one hand, a funnel in the other. My toxin failed me at Arkham. Together, we will ensure that never happens again. So he was perfecting the serum. He was perfecting the secretion. He was mastering the sludge. I like that. Do you think you'd finish the third chapter in TGB 13? That's uh, looking likely, yeah. There's a reason that I didn't include the mission, um, well, I'm trying to keep the episodes between, like, 35 and 45 minutes long. I think that's the sweet spot. Um, so besides it being over time, um, the reason that I didn't include the mission, I think it's Blessed of the Peacemakers, the one where, um, Arthur is captured. reason I didn't include that was... Not just because of the time, but just because, uh, it's... Story-wise, it will make sense more to... Like, each episode is kind of going over a little... Uh, not a, I guess, yeah, sort of a little arc. Like, it's it's giving another piece to the story each episode. And it would have just felt a little shoehorned in if I stuffed that mission into it. It works well with the next sort of, uh, wing of the story that will uh, happen in the next episode. Wealth in bold is wild. We fell off. 
We fell on. Never mind. We're doing well. Let's continue. Right, crit is done. Monkey man story. Lab monkey. Let's go. <clears throat> All right. Pyrophobia, fear of fire. Some fears make more sense than others, Alex thought, crunching his eyes shut against the flames and retreating into the furthest corner of his cell. He read a case study once when he was sane about a man with pharmo ph pharmaco ph pharmacophobia, pharmacophobia, fear of medicine. The poor he couldn't even have his freaking Panadol, man. He got a headache. He fell off. He fell off big time. The poor man suffered from epileptic, se <laughs> epileptic seizures, yet refused to take his pills. Madness. Counterintuitive. Misfiring self-preservation instinct, rejecting the very things that preserved. But fear of fire? That made evolutionary sense. Alex comforted himself, picturing humanity's ancestors scattering across the veldt as flames licked dry grass. He wasn't mad. He was just too sensitive. His phobia was just awareness of the damage that the, the inferno raging in front of him could do to his delicate tissues, if it was real. Simon had summoned him, just like I summoned you today, Alex remembered, accused, of, accused him of betrayal, and now here he was, a test subject, meat for the grinder, brain matter for the thresher, more data for stag. They'd stopped pumping toxin into his cell hours ago, but still the fires burned around him, a phantom wall of flame. They started closing in. Alex Satorius screamed as the flames consumed him. Screams of terror, not pain. To an outside observer, the result was slapstick. A white-coated scientist flailing at nothing. But all Alex could see was flames eating at his flesh, gnawing down to the bone. Okay, yeah, so... Um, before when we were discussing Stag's mental illness, I think we kind of lowballed him a bit. I think you've got to be pretty mentally ill to do that. That's uh, definitely some mad scientist type shit. I know he was kind of being forced by Scarecrow, but still. Um, yeah, it could be soap. I'm going to sort of stand back and evaluate what the what March 28th is looking like. Um, I don't want to make any promises right now. Uh, TGB12, working on that, it... Uh, like, it's super satisfying. I love working on it. Uh, there's no video or project that I ever feel prouder to work on on release, but um, it, it's uh, mentally challenging. Um, so we'll see what happens. T uh, Bruce and Robert is usually a pretty pretty nice, easy ride to work on, you know? Um, anyway, a little, bit of, a little bit of Solomon. A little bit of Solomon moment. Revenant. All right. Is this a Solomon origin story? Let's go. Zach hated Mondays. He'd been working the early shift at the morgue for all of three weeks, and he was already starting to resemble a pallid corpse. The bourbon-induced hangover certainly wasn't helping. His stomach had been growling all morning, and it was still an hour until lunch. His bowels lurched at the thought of another plate of slop from the commissary. Only this time, the accompanying growl was deeper, more... Uh, more resonant from another place he scanned the room for the source the stiffs uh, sometimes released pockets of gas uh, the stiffs are the dead people right the stiffs sometimes released pockets of gas when they started to decompose pungent gifts from the afterlife but this sound was different almost like a word trying to be formed trapped by shuddering lips it was coming from one of the new cold storage units did my did we finish the playlist? Oh my god, I gotta click replay on the Arkham Ambience playlist. That's how long we've been going. Jesus, I'm so sorry. Um, these compartments weren't supposed to have locks, but this one had four. They weren't usually this big either, and they certainly didn't have Wayne Tech branding. The door swung open and plumes of dry ice poured out on uh, around Zack's legs. As the lights flickered on, he could see the outline of a hulking corpse spread out on the floor. I thought Hulk was marble. This is crazy. It was inhumanly large, big Mac meal, and breathing. Bo... 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 Borger... Borger from McDonald. Bo Borger from McDon. Zack slipped on the tiles and landed hard, sending his glasses skidding across the room. 
Feeling with his hands, he worked his way over the huge slabs of cold muscle to the wrist, as thick as a thigh. He wiped the frost off the plastic ID tag and strained to see the name. Solomon Grundy. Like the nursery rhyme. The body shifted, its giant lungs filling with ice-cold air. The voice was rough, guttural, angry. Burger from McDonald. That's crazy. I thought we were getting a little bit of Solomon perspective before he became Monday Man. That was okay. That was a good one. <clears throat> That's not bad. Thanks for the uh, bit, Dom. You are making me want to get a Big Mac. Maybe I'm secretly owned by McDonald. All right. Officer Romance? Oh, <laughs> Officer Romance. Okay. Office Romance. Oh, this is a Robert story. Interesting. We haven't had one like this yet, have we? I don't think so. I'll have a two plain cheeseburger Big Mac meal with a large burger from McDonald. Robin stood at Oracle's side as they watched a 3D model of an inconspicuous blood cell rotate on the back computer's monitor. He's still showing no symptoms, Oracle asked, as she delved deeper into the cell structure. Cell's walls were intact, plasma healthy and clear. Nothing, Tim replied. Oracle glanced over her shoulder. Tim was staring straight ahead, arms folded. The muscle in his jaw flexed. Oh my god! Tim! Do you, do you know what that actually canonically reveals? What it confirms? Do you get it? Hey, maybe... Tim may, may have something going for him, I don't know. He refuses, even on shift as Robert. He refuses to uh to give up the mu routine uh, routine he's dedicated what can i say um <clears throat> all right no smile not today what what did i just tell you context clues everybody make sure you read them he was working hard they both were gotham demanded everything of them every day stop complaining okay you don't work retail robert don't complain vigilante you pick your own hours idiot Come on, Mr. Adams, Oracle asked, fighting off a wave of exhaustion. What are you hiding? The protein channels, maybe? Tim le lent in, uh, in to point at the image. When he drew his arm away, his hand grazed Barbara's neck. What is it with these short stories and necks, dude? And nipples and also... Um, yeah, necks and nipples mostly. <clears throat> Barbara stopped typing, caught her breath. Tim went still. The moment drew itself out each second marked by the clock tower's mechanical heartbeat. And then Tim turned away. We can't do this. Not again. Hematology never was your strong suit, huh, Drake? Barbara joked painfully, but Tim was already gone. What a... That's not even funny. Yeah, what in the what, Pat, is going on? Some of these are really well written, and then some of them are so-so, you know? Not awful, but... Anyway... She sat there wondering why he didn't come back, and why she didn't try and stop him, like he must have, uh, like he must have hoped he she would. But why make things harder than they had to be? Gotham came first, the job. It's the choice they made. They could turn their backs on each other, but not on that. Yeah, it's it is a negative Riz story. It is a negative charisma tale. Um, like. I see, like, it's it's just a fucking, like, couple of paragraphs, whatever, but I loved the way that they wrote Frozen Out. That was so, so painful, but it was, like, it, it was a really nice, like, I don't know, way of describing the romance between Victor and uh, Nora, his wife. Um, and then you've just got, like, I don't know, it felt like a completely different writer. I could be wrong. Maybe they wrote these in order, and then by the time they got to Office Romance, they were like, who gives a fuck, man? Who's reading this? And then I I read it. I'm, read, I'm reading Taken Out the Trash currently. All right. <clears throat> Garbage collectors, asked Pipes, sat in the Hell's Gate offices, holding the stained second-hand uniform at arm's length, like a new parent with their first dirty diaper. You, uh, completely sure about this, boss? We're sure, Dent growled from across the desk. He's always growling. Maybe flip the coin and pick a different voice. Heads, you adopt a, uh, I don't know. You adopt a more 
uh, sensual, sultry voice. Tails, you can keep the growl, but we're doing a flip every couple of days to keep things fresh. Pipes didn't argue. It wasn't nice, Harvey. It wasn't nice, Harvey speaking. You could tell after a while. The way a group of school friends can tell the pair of identical twins among them apart. Yeah, like maybe we can flip for a pirate voice. Mix it up a little bit. Um, it's not about the voice. Not always. It's about the face. Which eye swings round faster to look at you. Which side of the mouth. The lantern jaw or the charred twisted lips. The smile plays across first. We need a front for the bank job, Dent said. And you owe us. All of you. The compensation claims, uh, the compensation claims. Arkham City had been corrupt as hell, sure, but Pipes had run-ins with enough dirty cops to know justice flowed one way in Gotham. Well, it does if you haven't got the best lawyer in the city ever, uh, the city ever saw running your class action suit from behind the scenes. I get it, boss, I do, Pipes stammered. It's just Hell's Gate waste disposal and legal services? Really? Dent leaned forward. Pipes tried not to shudder as the weeping skin peeled from the le leather chair. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he would be a sticky boy. For sure. Trust me. Nice, Harvey answered. They're one and the same in this town. Two-Face is... I really love Two-Face as a character. One of my favorite Batman villains. It's always really interesting to hear how he interacts with his goons and stuff. Like, um... Especially in City, it's it's really cool. It's really fun. Um, sticky tier list? Yeah, he's a sticky boy. He's up there. So is Penguin, apparently, with his... What was it? Uh, what was Penguin's issue? It was... It was... Uh, where, where is it? Do you, do you remember what it was? The wet pulp, maybe? There was wet pulp involved. I'm sure of it. Yeah, yeah, wait. Uh, I don't know where it went, but yeah, wet pulp, I believe it was. You're right. All right, we read Vicky, I'm pretty sure. We don't need to read Vicky again. I think she's made herself very present throughout this series. Um, so we'll, we will go on to Scar Tissue, which is the final story. I know some people will be cheering right now. And you know what? I don't blame you. Because after this final story, we'll be moving on to Mr. Fridge, and then, finally, Nightfall. So buckle up, and, uh, you know, turn your pacemakers on. I'm pretty sure they don't have an off function, but, you know, make sure they're in working order before we go. Because it's about to get a little crongle, alright? Victor savoured the familiar warmth of arterial blood splashing his face as he eased another of Penguin's lackeys into oblivion. Jesus. All right. Vic wait, Victor? Victor who? Victor Freeze? No. He wiped the blade on his victim's biker jacket, then searched his own forearm for a clean plot of flesh amid the, amid, amid the lattice work of scars and fresh incisions. Uh, this, is a, this is a Zaz moment. It had been an eventful night, and the blood loss was starting to drain Victor's energy. He'd planned to liberate just a handful of Penguin and Two-Face's men, leave the bodies in plain sight, and send a message to the Scarecrow, who seemed determined to exclude him from his plans. But when he tallied the first victim, felt the knife's cold steel, Victor knew he wouldn't be satisfied until, until he'd felled a dozen or more. Sirens howled in the distance, and Zaz looked up to see the sky illuminated by the symbol of a bat. It seemed Scarecrow's Halloween festivities had already begun. Instinctively, Victor's fingers traced the smooth patch of skin he was saving especially for Batman. Let Scarecrow have his fun tonight, he thought. Batman would no doubt humiliate him and the others who'd followed his farcial plan. So, oh, it's, it's nice to see he has faith in us, I like that. Then Zaz would find him. That patch of skin wouldn't be smooth for long. So further adding to the fact that he definitely had that cut side mission and it probably would have gone hard as hell. It really sucks because he has been present for Asylum City... Asylum and City, no origins, correct? It would have been cool to complete that with a final appearance, you know? 
Yeah, I actually saw something with his dialogue. Uh, I saw a video about that yesterday. Yeah, it's a shame. It would have been cool. Probably cut for pig. They are... I, I, yeah, there's only room in Gotham for one serial killer. W or one, you know, like, classic serial killer, I guess. I mean, he is technically in the game, I know, in the security footage, but... Um, anyway. Okay, so that's it. We've gone through all the stories. We've gone through all the audio tapes. Um, honestly, worth reading? Some of them were. Some of them tell us more of what we already knew... Maybe just from a different perspective. I think the absolute best ones, just to reiterate, Homecoming was great. Resolutions was great. Um, the Fall was really good. Uh, Frozen Out was great. Uh... What was the other one? Social Outcast was really good, and Visiting Hours was really good as well. Favorite videotapes? I think the Arkham Knight ones are naturally the best ones. They give that... Uh, hearing him a little bit more was really cool, considering... You know, for a main villain, he, it felt like he didn't really... crop up all that much to, to say stuff besides, I'm gonna kill you, Batman. Um, okay. Let's do it. Let's turn this off. We're going to turn the subtitles off. Thank you for reminding me. Um, I can't believe it's Mr. Fridge. Wait, subtitles were already off. When did we turn that off? Okay. I'll take that. All right. Let's fridge. Let's buy a random upgrade real quick. I'm talking that and that and that as well. Excellent. No armor. I would just like to reiterate. No armor. Large Arkham Knight playthrough, no armor. Um, that's that's what we're going for here. Um, why subtitles off? It it just the footage just looks better with no subtitles. All right, let's go get chili. I'm so excited. We have been waiting pretty much the entire game to do this. People say it's the best DLC. I guess we'll we'll have to be the judge of that today. Let's have a little uh, look see. I'm picking up a distress signal from a stranded cargo vessel. I'm attempting to establish radio contact, but there's too much interference. Send me the coordinates. Hello, I'll line. You only missed me reading. So, uh, I guess not. You didn't miss too much. Yeah, I was actually just about to say that, Slipknot. Why did Alfred sound like he, yeah, either he had his mouth full, like he was eating a large Big Mac meal, perhaps? Or, uh, he also sounded like he could be sick. I'm not sure. Alright, let's see. I'm excited. This is gonna be... This is gonna be Gamer. Been looking at this, like... Nora boat the entire game, just wondering what's gonna happen here. Because, like, the fault of Mr. Freeze stories... Like, th there's just not that many of them. And I think the reason is, like how much can you really do with the whole Nora thing, right? So I'll be interested to see what they do after City, which pretty much, you know, explored that. Um, I'll be interested to see what they do with it uh, in Night. It's going to be interesting. Spoiler, Arnold educates us on how the dinosaurs came to an end. That's That'll be good. I'm looking forward to it. I've always wondered. Oh yeah, no, you need the Noran motivation there at least a little bit. Other, like, it's the whole reason Mr. Freeze is even doing, you know, debatably villainous things, you know? Oh, I'm excited. This is such a cool little way to implement a DLC. Sir, so, I know one would be hard pushed ever to call Gotham Clement, but Iceberg. This isn't the weather, Alfred. I feared as much. As well as battling the cold, there's this a is so sick. deployment of militia troops aboard the boat. I have a feeling they'll object to your presence. I'll win them over. This is so cool. Looks like we're on guard duty, boys. Stay frosty. <laughs> oh, am, am I being scanned? Holy shit. I'm just trying to... Bodies encased in ice. Trying to admire things here, you know? 
This is an awesome area. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I thought that was a person. God damn. All right, been a while since we've, we've actually done gameplay, as you can probably tell. I lost my source, man. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm actually going to die. Oh, man, that didn't go so well. I'm dead. There's no way I live. Holy hell. All right. Sorry. Bear with me here. Master Bruce. Alf Rog. I hoped it would never end like this. Me either, man. Rest in peace. Yeah. Like skeet shooting? Yeah, hit the bat. I lost my juice. Yeah, I actually feel like... I haven't... Oh, this is a good position to be in. That's good. All right. Let's do this, hey? Let's, um... Let's hit him with it. I wonder if we can use... Can we use voice? They... Is that telling me I can or, or can't? I can? Are we going to get some Mr. Freeze voice here? That'll be kind of cool. At least I'm remembering to use my, uh... Disruptor. Oh, I forget. I forgot I could download the codes there. You're right. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm sure you can tell that's not what I wanted to do. The game had other plans for me, apparently. All right, I'm dropping that idea. That's very annoying. Wanted to drop down onto that line, but... Okay, that's cool too. What is your problem, Bruce Wayne? I will actually go back in time and and murder your parents again. I think it's what you deserve. Where do they go? These guys are strange. All right, I'm going for it. I'm going for the risky business. I'm going for the real risky business. That's what we're here for, right? Why even engage in business if it's not risky? Lost him. Spread out and search the area. Wait, is he up? He's up. Cool. I'm all about the risky business. They're really bunching up here. You guys okay? You see anything? Push. Got a signal. Surveillance and traces right. everywhere. It's time to get the juice back, I think. Oh, why is the game stammering? Where's his signal boy? There he is. He must die. Oh, I thought I had enough. I thought I had enough. Oh my god, I thought... Was he too far away? Don't I have... Don't I have five of them? You're not a hero to me, Dark Knight. That's so sad. Don't I have five of them? Was he just too far away? Too far? That's strange. I feel like I've done it from further than that before. All right, can we actually jump onto this line so I can get my plan in order, please? Like, it'd be pretty nice if that just worked the first time. Oh, wait, I can, I can download the codes from here, right? Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. My aversion to smoke pellets? Bad for the lungs. Real bad. Not good for you. Trying to keep it healthy. I can get two guys at once, right? Or it, it might not have an area of effect. Yeah, goon death, death screen just feels like, uh, disrespectful. Okay, now that's not an area of effect moment. Okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry about that, dude. I'm trying to jump on this line right now. Hey, thanks for the 30 bits, Alexa. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Um. There's a lot of blokes here. Holy shit. Like, a lot of dudes. I'm about to be detected. Where is he at? Where is Detective Boy? What happened to him? How do I know? Maybe he fell. Actually can't see him. Maybe Batman got him. Oh, you think he's here? I'm gonna go down here. Could be. Hopefully this, this drone good. doesn't see me. Oh, he turned around. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I see him. Bitch him. 
No, 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 no. No, don't do that. Man, I gotta pay some more attention here. I'm completely out of my element. I got no more sauce. I used it all for the main playthrough. When's the last time I did a stealth segment? A while ago. Like, oh, the medic. You Didn't I kill the medic? Is that another medic healing? It? Oh, he wasn't the medic. Oh, that is so painful. We're going to be here a while. Oh, yeah, I can disrupt the goddamn things as well. So many mechanics I've forgotten. But never Johnny on the spot. He's always on my mind. Who is this? What is, what is his deal? This electrified dude. Can I, I can't get a silent on him? Oh, nice, nice. He's done. He's done for. Get rid of him as well. He's not turning around for some reason. I'll take it. Very good. Very good. Things are going to plan now. This is good. As long as he doesn't turn around, he seems to be stun locked. So I'll, I'll take him out. This guy is like... This dude over here is dealing with some trauma at the moment. Yeah, we're gaming. Really need to get rid of... Uh, technology boy, wherever he is. That's him there. Need him dead. I want this man dead. Beaten. Broken. His head mounted on my wall kind of dead. Immediately. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him with a little uh one of these. Wait, is he the only bloke here? This is the best day of my life. That's very good news. This is a no technological zone, I'm agreeing with you. Get off the iPad and do as you were instructed. Alright, okay. if this guy doesn't turn around, we're gonna be all good. We're good. And if he doesn't come down the stairs, we're gonna be even better. Oh god, oh god, there's a lot of fellas right there. Alright, technology boy, you're dead to me. Why are they red? Is that like the ones that they're looking at or something? I've never seen that before. Get better or get dead, please don't see me. No, 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 no. Wrong button. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought it, I thought it kept going. That's my mistake. We can uh, freely use detective it's mode now, which is good. No Must have been ourselves. the wind. Yeah, he is uh, clueless. Hey, what happened to you? Nothing, bro. Nothing of your concern anyway. Dude, rat mode is definitely the best. It's pretty unrivaled in terms of its effectiveness. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Oh, the rat! The rat strikes again, I'm afraid. Oh my god. The actual rodent activity is wild. Man. Yeah, my juice is flowing back into my veins. I can feel it. I'm so bane-coated right now. I'm a filthy rodent. I'm Remby. Anyone can cook. That's what Gusto said. All right, come on, boys. I want to see the inside of this this boat. Where's the other guy? Where did he go? Oh, there they are. All right. Imagine getting fear taken down. Is that it? I oh, know there's more over here. Kind of wasted that a little bit. That's okay. This is the last fella, if I'm not mistaken. 
Not sure how I'm getting in that room. I need you to come out of this room, buddy. Oh, here he comes. No, not the ladder. Definitely not the ladder. I want, I want to stick to the wall. I really want to do a corner takedown. You know I love corner takedowns. Oh, I love corner takedowns. I'm so lucky I, I didn't even realize that was a sentry gun. The ship's on lockdown. I need to find the security controls. I love corner takedowns. All right, beautiful. Bodies encased in ice. Yeah, they're dead. Oh, he just said we need a security thing. Lockdown. I need to find the security controls. All right, let's find those security controls, shall we? I'm guessing they're in, they'd have to be in the main room. Maybe not. It might even just be pointing me to the direction. Uh, volume through the monitor moment. All right. I'll get rid of this. Just to be safe. Feels like the smart option. Oh, here we go. This is probably it. Oh, Mr. Freeze, the big fridge, he's got some good security on him, I can respect that. Cryogenics, I never would have guessed. Time to get inside. Alright. Sounds like a plan. Hey, thanks a lot, Klong Dong. Glad you enjoyed it, man. Thank you very much. This is so cool. Hang on, I just- I want to go and get a little bird's eye view of this real quick. This area is awesome. I love the, uh, the whole... just random, uh, frozen island aesthetic. Just off the coast of Gotham. And of course we have a perfect view of the Vicky Vale show in case we get bored. Alright. It's so cold here, though. It's too cold. Ice areas go hard. Yeah, unless it's Crash, Bandi uh, Crash Bandicoot 2. In which case, ice areas can actually not be on the planet anymore. Open. Yeah, I think that actually is Vicky Vale from the Gotham Gazette, believe it or not. <clears throat> she Vicky's on my veil until I open. Reroute auxiliary power. Error. System failure. Cryo generator on. Oh, he's so large. <sighs> Victor. They wanted me to join them. Help fight you. I refused. So they took her. Oh, you're so large, dude. Oh, the red goggles. She'll die without my care. But they said they return her in exchange for Batman. Warning. Cryo generator unstable. If you trust them, Victor, take your shot. Warning. Oh, this is so good. Freaking love you, Victor. I will. Get the ship under control. Those red goggles, man. Like, can you... I have the gooseys right now. Like, let's be... Let's be real for a second. He's, he's such a great character. More Mr. Freeze, please. Serve it up. The Batman Part 2? Give me the frozen boy. Give me the cold man. Give me the Arctic warrior, please. Mm. Hey, thanks for the sub, Alexa. Poor Nora? Poor Nora. I know the whole terminal ill thing and being condemned to a refrigerator bish has been crudely converted into an ice box, but the worst part is having to make do with Victor. Shrink. Sure. <laughs> I wish it didn't cut you off there. Shrinkage is real, folks, yeah. 
Yeah, Mr. Fridge is going to have some problems if he gets her to, you know, come back to the land of the living correctly. Um, do I like this design more than the city design? No. Still really cool. R red, red goggles, beautiful, juice-infused activity. Um, but, uh, no, this, the city suit is awesome. The city suit is really fucking good. You like it when he looks like an astronaut? It, it, this isn't bad by any means. This looks a bit more like, I don't know, gorilla? Like, it looks more slapped together with spare parts. I don't know if you're getting that vibe as well. Very cool still. No pun intended there. Very cool. Also, this does feel kind of awesome to be doing after the main campaign. Because he, he seems so, like, isolated out here. And it, it's a little bit more heartwarming to know that, like, after everybody was on our ass for the entire game, Freeze still didn't, like, you know, he didn't come after us. Isolated? All right. Can we, can we stop this? That was actually not intended. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an accidental genius. What can I say? Alfred, I've got a tracking device that can lead me to Nora. It's transmitting a location. Be careful, sir. I imagine the militia will be rather intent on keeping her prisoner. Wait, how the fuck am I getting out of here? What's down here? Batman and snow and ice is large. Would have been cool if they put something in here. Like some people's, I don't know, hands sticking out of the ice like he froze the whole place up. Hey, a ri yeah, a Riddler trophy would have been cool, but they, they put this, uh... They put this out after that's after the main campaign was done, so... Oh, wait, I didn't realize the dock is right there. Okay, cool. Nice. Very epic. All right. This area is really cool. Man, Rocksteady is so great at designing environments and stuff. Even when I was, like, Suicide Squad doesn't look as good, but it's still, I can see, they still had a little bit of juice in that regard by the looks of things. Their environmental uh, detail and, and their art style is just really awesome. It's, it's hard, it's hard to make me not like a, uh, Mr. Freeze related thing. So, um... Uh, either way, I think I'll like this, you know. What's with all the rain? Uh, so the best thing about Suicide Squad is the way it looks. Yeah, it's still a pretty beautiful game. I'm going to be sad to not play this game as much once we finish, but at least we still have the DLCs. Yeah, no, that's a good point line. That's a hard, uh, like, line to walk, you know? You missed the Riddler trophy hunting? I'm glad some people enjoyed that. I didn't, uh, as, when we were about halfway through, I was like, man, I hope this isn't the most boring thing on the planet, but, you know, it had, had to be done. Scarecrow pulling this on Halloween. Guess he's got a sense of humor after all. It was still fun. We could shoot the shit in peace, you know? We lost men on that boat. In relative peace, anyway. Oh my god, some combat, I can't believe. Who is this fella? Why does he look so different? Oh no, it's, it just looks different from this angle. Okay. Laters, brother. I haven't been practicing on night, so uh, on city, so you'll have to forgive me here.
Get rid of this guy. Get him out of here. I had to take my time there. I'm so glad that didn't drop me my, my combo. Beautiful. All right. That was not so bad. Here, but no sign of Nora's cryo chamber. It is Kolg, though. Reach down to the bottom. Pull out a solo no sugar can. Mmm. Tell me information, bold boy. Let go of me! Where? Ow! They took her to a rooftop in Otisburg! That's all I know! I swear! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, missed opportunity for soda cola product Victor, placement. The tracking device, Ace is dropping the ball. No. No. This is taking too much time. Stay calm. I will find her. You need to get that equipment stable. Victor. Yes. Every second I'm losing her. Please hurry. The the Batman and Mr. Freeze dynamic always goes so hard. I love it. Please give me a grapple. There we go. A little dunk. A little dunk. Gotta, gotta wash the blood off, you know. Would you drink Soda Cola Zero? Man, I've been drinking a lot less, like, uh, things that aren't water and tea lately. Um, but I, I do enjoy a Zero Sugar Cola every now and again. So if I lived in the Gotham universe, in the, I mean, in the, in the DC universe, not the Gotham TV show universe, um, probably would, man. I think so. Can you see her? Victor, is it safe? Yes. Yes, of course. Contact me as soon as you find her. Oh, that was almost bad. That was that was a cool entrance. Anyone make contact with Freeze? He knows what he's gotta do. Question is, is he gonna do it? Does this make sense to do last though? When when the when both Deathstroke and the Arkham Knight have been taken out? There's an Oris cryo chamber. Time to deal with the militia. Oh, how did you see me? Jesus. I mean There's an audio recording you can listen to here? I feel like this would have made even less sense if I did do it after nightfall. Thank God he didn't see me there. You know how long she's been like that? One of the guys said about ten years. Who is that there? All right, he's turning around. I'm gonna hit him with some of these. Nice. Oh, I missed. Let's do this instead. No, 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 no! Oh my god, it didn't go to plan at all! Please let me live. Please, wh why, why couldn't I direct him anywhere? That was so scary. I really messed that up. Like, why didn't that work? <laughs> Rat sounds intensify. I'm gonna have to pull out the trump card here. Alright, cool. Don't you turn around, buddy. It'll be the end of the Batman. One HP returns? I mean, look, I had to do it to him for the last stream. I know you guys are all for the one HP gameplay. It's what I provide. It's my special service. You can't get it anywhere else. Is this a... What's he got on his back there? I didn't mean to hit his gun. God damn it. Ah, well that's a waste, isn't it? Stuff it. Let's uh, send another one to die. Oh, I, it was the it was the same weapon straight. I'm such an idiot. I'm such a fool. All right, we're gonna have to go a different way about this. How's it going over there? See anything? 
That was very silly. Me neither. Same here. Okay. Don't fall asleep. Oh, they 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 they're clever, I tell you. Get over here. Got a man down. Not the sentry, come on. Can you hear me? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. It's dangerous, but I'm going for it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yes, come over here. I love corner takedowns. They're so large. We're almost there, Orangey. We're almost there. I gotta really be careful not to die here, because this is... These stealth sections are kind of, uh, kind of hard in the... Mr. Freeze stuff, at least for me. Alright, you guys keep going over there. He's putting up a sentry. Smoke bomber might be the way. I'll go for... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no! I didn't expect him to turn around. Come on, man. No armor moment? It's better Master It's better to play the game this I way, for sure. Like this. It's way better to Rest play the game peace. with no armor. Because you get punished for being seen. You really do. You only get really maybe one or two chances if you're lucky. Yeah, gotta get the medic gone ASAP. I'll pay more attention to him. Let's let's uh suss him out. Shout out um imposter. Status on that chamber. Damaged in the extraction. Tech stabilized it. We're waiting for evac. Better pray nothing happened to her. I don't feel like fighting him with that ice. There's Nora's cryo chamber. Time to deal with the militia. All right. So where is he? Well, let's let's get rid of the snipers properly this time first. It actually is. I just did my own no armor run, and it was very fun. It's way better for the Arkham games. The the stealth feels way more satisfying. Yeah, that's exactly right, Jack. Like, you get basically six chances to be seen and shot at with, with full armor. Maybe even more than that, honestly. The the smoke pellets are already kind of a get-out-of-jail-free card, you know? Anyone make contact with Freeze? He knows what he's gotta do. Question is, you gonna do it? <gasps> Alright, where is, uh, Medic Boy? Where is the medicinal man? Where the hell's our evac? I don't like waiting around. Where did he go? Roof. Look, no one knows we're here. The decoy took Could you do New Game Plus without Shut armor? I reckon right. I could do it. I know there's some doubters right now, but I reckon I could do that. We're gonna get behind him for that, don't we? All right. Where is he? Why do I keep losing this fucking guy? There he is. All right, that's done. Good. Now we can sort of we have a bit of freedom here. Where would I be now if the Arkham Knight hadn't found me? You would definitely be a lot less electrocuted than you're about to be, that's for sure. All right, we're good. We're good. We have some we have some freedom here. We need to get rid of him as well if we want to have a good time. Might hit him with uh, his own little electrocution method. That's too quiet. Report. All right, he just died. Nothing to report. Nothing here. I think. Do, no, th those Dark don't that? affect people like Get that. Got a man down. I need to be Get able to hit this. You need to wake up. We got any? I might as well get him quickly. What the hell? It just <laughs> Blow up gun. Nightfall, is he okay? Blow up gun, what do you mean? Like, shoot one of their guns with the disruptor? Let's see if he's okay. I don't really plan on being seen, though. I'll keep watch. Is he okay? Does he look okay? It's Batman. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't plan on being seen. We can do for him. We oh, use two charges. I don't think I have two charges. 
Oh, I do. Oh, you guys, I gotta pay more attention to you. All right. Okay, so we oh we got rid of old mate. Oh Jesus Christ! Why can't I aim down just a little bit more? You're hurting me. You hurt my feelings. Is that it? Did I just shoot the wrong guy? Use the wreck on him? When is that gonna blow up? Oh, you gotta shock him. So much cool shit in this game, you just forget. That is so awesome. That is so sick. Yeah, that's awesome. That goes hard as hell. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I really don't want to die. How did he see me? It's okay, it's okay. Don't panic. We have fear. We have fear. We're going to be okay. Jesus, how, how the fuck did he see me there? Yeah, it actually is, Astral. I agree with you. And I'm at the... the. I'm so far away from the ceiling. I'm not even on the floor. I'm in the fucking basement. But the game is still incredibly fun. So it's okay. We're going to be all right. Oh, he's going up the ladder. This is not good. There we go. I'm in a well? Look. Basement. Basement. I can control the game. I can agree with that, Astral. That's, that's very generous. I still have this. Still have that, I almost forgot. Are they just not gonna fall for it again, or that's because they're busy? That's usually because they're busy, right? Yeah, you go over there, buddy. I think there's only these two fellas left. Wait, he, d he disobeyed me? Is he just not falling for that anymore? Okay, I'll, uh, I guess. Shit, 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 shit. That was almost really bad. That was almost my worst blunder yet. Get him to come over here. I oh, he didn't hear it. Get mogged. Get mogged on. Get disrespected. Get nut punched. Nora's life is in danger. I need to investigate the cryo chamber. Hey, randoms. Thanks for the five, dude. Yeah, that was not my finest moment, Epic. I'll agree with you. But, look. Not bad. There she is. The woman herself. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot, like, yeah, she's... D disease, not dead. Come on, Isaiah, Jesus. Get with it. Don't die, though. Batman. Don't die. Mr. Me and Mr. Freeze will never go out for cold ones ever again. Try not to move. <laughs> for what, another lifetime? know how long it's been too long it was like dreaming but i could hear victor we speaking. got that context from the you short story come batman where is she have you found her she's here victor she's awake no you have to bring her back let me speak to him I'm literally crying right now. I'm sag. Victor? Nora? Don't be afraid. 
I will save you. Oh, Victor. As soon as you're back, I'll freeze you again. Please. Jesus, dude. She's your wife, not a fucking fish that you're gonna eat later. I will save you, Nora. I'm nearly there. The next round of therapy. Don't you see? I don't want saving. Not anymore. Victor, the generator. But you're dying, Nora. Victor? Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Victor! Oh, God, no! Massive explosion in the bay. Ice freaks up to something. Send in the drones. We have to go now. Yeah, nah, bo I feel bad for both of them as, as well. That's just a shit situation all around. But, like, it it's now kind of been made obvious that her being in that semi-lucid state is like is like haunting Please. like that's awful hurry i will is she is he dead man i can't believe they wait wait, wait hold up oh where am i going shit i can't believe they made all of this just for a little dlc this is why I believe Rock Rocksteady can make a comeback. They cooked, man. This is so crazy. Nora is just getting tossed around in the back of this fucking Batmobile right now. I'm so sorry. She's gonna be dead from the shock alone. Oh no. Nora, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, okay. Let's just pretend that never happened. The game seems to be fine with that. Oh man! Who the fuck is this? Oh, here we go. I haven't done drone stuff in a while. Look at this man standing on the <laughs> He's so large! He's so big! He's so bib. Oh man, I haven't done this in a while. I wonder if she's gonna willingly go back in the tank though. It feels kind of inhumane, you know? Is he, uh, giving us a hand up there? Alright. Me and you are good, Mr. Frib. Armor holding. This ain't over. Initial deployment was unsuccessful. Is that it? Reinforcements inbound. Alright, let's go. Man, this DLC's great. It's like touching on Most all the elements that we've done in the game so far. Call. It is a nice little send-off. You can take them all out. Detonate the generator. I would never try and shoot him, Phoenix. Victor, it's okay. It's what I want. Victor? Oh my god. Oh my god, those drones are going hard. I've never, I've never seen them go this hard before, even in the main story. That was crazy. They're out to get us. Oh god. That was not a good position to be in. Oh my god, he's go good. No, I got it. It's all right. We can still use this. This is pretty crazy. Didn't know they hated Mr. Freeze so much. Oh, I I ran straight into that one. I need to get in a better position. What was that? I'm beating their cheeks, kill cool. Goron trying. Oh, I thought we'd have to deal with all of that. I work. The equipment. It's all gone. I can't save you. Maybe there's another way. Victor, this isn't you. I won't let you destroy yourself anymore. 
wish I could have told you sooner. I don't want you to die, Nora. Oh, don't do this to me. Then let me live. Don't do this to me, game. This is the saddest part in the game so far. We won't have much time. Days. Time never has been on our side, Victor. Oh, man. No. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't even look. I'm sorry about the ads. I don't control it. I'm so sorry. Sir, the ship has set course to leave Gotham. Should I keep tracking them? Let them go. We won't see them again. Man. I love that. That's such a nice end for Mr. Freeze. Like... All, all of his motivation to go villain mode, it's, it's, uh, it's not, it's not there anymore, you know? Man. That is so sad. Yeah, I'm really sorry about those ads. You, you, you'll be able to go rewind it in, in the VOD. Sorry about that. At least it didn't happen during Nightfall. Um. Man. I really love that. It's very sad, but it's it's kind of uh, you know, it's better for her for them to have at least a few last days rather than her be in that fucking ice box for like the next god only knows how long. Man, that's uh, that's pretty awesome. That was a great send off. All right, what else have we got here before nightfall? That's it. We finished almost every gadget. We missed these ones, but that's uh, that's nothing. We missed uh, armor, but that's not really missing anything. That's just making the game better. Um, man, I can't believe it. We're at we're at the end. I have to go fall. You missed this earlier. Isn't a wife and a fish you'll eat later the same thing? You know, the Jesus, thing Alexa, no. That freak from what, the hell? In here. <laughs> what the hell? Before PJ, we man. get to Nightfall and the end of the game, I wanted to say thank you for sharing your experience with this game. We've all had such a wonderful time going back through the Arkham series. Oh, don't cut my boy off. Come on now. So who's controlling the man, now? thanks so much for the 400 bits, CJ. I, I really should be thanking you. Like, again, honestly, it's been a wonderful time experiencing this it's game with people who are Mr. such Through big fans of it, you know? And nipples, it's really opened our hearts. It really has opened our hearts. And, and we've had many a, uh, many a dead shot nipple moment. It's been good. Um, thank you, guys. Thanks for the 100, Ethan. And, and thanks again for the 400, CJ. Yeah, no, like, as I said the other day, when we completed the Riddler trophies, it's like, uh, this is probably the best way for me to have experienced the game. I really wasn't sure if on stream would be the best way to experience the game, because I thought spoilers everywhere, you know, whatever. But, um, it's been really, really great. It, you guys have only enhanced my first experience Amazing with it. It's, game, it's been AGL. awesome. Fun streams. Six in bold? Did we fall back on, man? What can I say? We haven't been six in bold for weeks. Oh, this is the best day of my life. Holy hell. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for the 100, Dom. This is massive. This is huge. Thanks for the 100, Cameron. Wait, is the TTS going to play or is Twitch going to be betraying us once again? Thanks very much, Cameron. Thank you for taking us so long on this journey with you, but also still fuck Robert, of course. Well, that never changes, does it? <clears throat> Thank you, Lion. Hold your breath and count to ten. Feel the earth move and then hear my heart burst again. For this is the end. I've drowned and dreamt this moment. Oh man, I'm scared. I'm scog. Thank you for the hundred line. Thanks for the uh for the three bits, James. Three bits for the three times I enjoyed watching you play this game. Hell yeah. Man, thank you everybody. We are going to uh 
we're going to cap it off. I'm so sag. What a... What an insane game. I, uh, am low-key sort of happy that I never played it on release, as stupid as my reason for not playing it was. I, I'm actually, uh... Thank you, I'm in for this. I'm scared. first ever bits. Oh, Lemons, thanks so much, man. It's an honor to be your first hundred bits. Thank you very much for the support, thank you. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I've said it a million times, but... Um, the fact that we didn't get any major plot points spoiled from anybody in the chat has just been, like, uh... I value that a lot. I think that's pretty awesome, so thank you very much for that. You um, brought me back to Twitch to watch these streams and my love for the Arkham series. Love the big dog. Thanks a lot, Scoot. Thanks for sticking around as long as you have, man. That's, uh, it's insane. Thanks for the hundred bits, dude. Yeah, thank you, everybody. It's been awesome. Like, it's, uh, it's cool to, to share the first experience of, like, the end of the Arkham series. There are no games after this. Um, because these games were, like, they made up my, my, ch a portion of my childhood, you know, and they, <clears throat> they sort of got me into Batman stuff as a whole. So, uh, it's been really cool. So, thank you, everybody. Let's, uh, let's cap it off. Let's do it. There is DLC, of course, but this is, you know, this is pretty much it. And, uh, Nightfall is a very foreboding and potentially scarog title for this, uh, protocol, so... Man. Hey, thanks a lot for sticking around, Is I appreciate it, dude. I was always told to make the sign of the cross after I whack someone, you know. I'm so scog. Is there anything we need to do before we do this? Nothing? All DLC done? Bruce. Everything here. Holy shit, Outlaw. Jesus, dude. Holy hell. Thank you very much, man. I hope you've enjoyed these streams. It's been lovely having you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the five gifted. <clears throat> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just delaying the inevitable here. All right. Hey, thanks so much, Outlaw. I appreciate it, dude. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Oh! I don't know what to expect. Just a cut, like a small cutscene, or what? Do we, like, it's. I'm. I'm Skog. Don't be sag. Because we're sag too. We're all sag. <laughs> thanks, Ethan. Thanks for the hundred, dude. Thank you all very much for the support, guys. Thanks for top six in bold. That's insane. Frenzy. Thank you, man. Thank you for the gifted sub, dude. Thanks for the generosity. Congratulations, Aquila. Right, there shouldn't be any ads. They play a, around every hour or so, so... Should be okay. Alright. Thank you, everybody. Let's see how this goes. Initiate the Nightfall Protocol. Do you mind really cutting the moment down right now? I didn't think we'd get here. I can't believe we did 243 Riddler trophies. We are large. Alright, let's go. Yet. <laughs> it's done. Gotham is safe. Thank you, Bruce. For everything. Goodbye, Jim. Hey, don't, like, jump off the building or something, Jesus. Bruce in bat suit with no mask is such a juicy combo meal. It's so good. This is so good. This is the ending I was hoping for, you know? Not just a bunch of people in the cells at the end, you know? Oh, we're getting more. Give it to me. Unleash the juice. 
Oh, who is this? this? Vicky Vale for GCN reporting live outside Oh, thank God you told us. I almost forgot. Unmasking a billionaire playboy for The dude just whipped into view. That's him. Are you still rolling? So large. sure you want to do this, Master Bruce? I've got to. It's the only way to protect them. Very well. We just saw Bruce Wayne. Man, some live action Alfred. Batman. Enter his home, refusing to come. Oh, Jesus. He's just gonna fake his death. Come back with a new costume. Holy hell. Jesus, I hope Alfred had his running shoes on because he might, wouldn't have had much time there. This is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. This a is. A friend once told me the criminals Who's... are a cowardly and superstitious lot. That the only way to beat them was to give them something to be scared of. I understand now. As his world grew darker, so did ours. When his war ended, our lives could begin again. He set us free to live, to love. Yeah, big man Alfred. Wait, there no, was an inquest, big man Jim. Of course. Where's Alfred? Hundreds of suspects. Who killed Bruce Wayne? Oh, he's the man now? I guess we'll never know for sure. So what's next? Criminals are a cowardly and superstitious lot. What happens when they have nothing to be scared of? Who will protect Gotham? Now that the Batman is dead. I don't believe he's dead. But continue. And where is Alfred? Most importantly. Hey. This is gonna be large. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is gonna be large, I can just tell. No one's coming, lady. Somebody's coming. In more ways than one. <clears throat> Take his wallet. It's gonna be so large, I just know it. Hey freak, maybe you missed the news! Batman's dead! What the yeah, look, fuck is going on? More. What the hell? Jesus Christ. What the fuck was that? Dude. Let the credits play? Alright, I, I will. Man. So, obviously, Br Brood... Brood is live. That is... That is... No way to make the Batman scary again than to fake your death um, and then basically uh, artificially instill fear with the toxin. But I don't believe... Would, would Batman do that? Would he resort to using the fear toxin? It feels a little outside his wheelhouse. There's this final form after getting rid of that little shit, Robert. <laughs> yeah, that's it, Cameron. <laughs> Thanks for the hundred, dude. Against criminals, yeah, it doesn't kill people. It's kind of a nice full circle moment. I mean, he tortures people to get information. Yeah, yeah, no, the, the 
that's what I was sort of leaning towards Slipknot. Like, it seems like now he's like this phantom. He's, um... He's like a, you know, he, he's, it's the ghost of Bruce Wayne type of shit. Like, it's cool that Origins poses him as like, you know, it's the typical Batman start. He's like this myth, right? People still don't even know if the Batman is real. Scarecrow successfully makes it so that there's basically no, uh... He makes Batman seem more human, more just a man than ever. And then he uses his own shit against him to, uh, re basically reverse that. That's pretty fucking awesome. I'm not gonna lie, that's a nice full circle moment. He, he, yeah, that was, that was awesome. And so I'm oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I was looking for. The asylum. <laughs> Have we got the ballad version? Mmm. Oh, we got the, the ballad asylum. remix. No, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Now I'm locked deep inside. Deep inside. Hit that shit, Jonkler. Look who's laughing now. I was the clown. He was the clown. Prince of crime. The prince of crime. I'm breaking it down right now. If you didn't get 100% before doing Nightfall, the cutscene ends with the mansion blowing up and Jim saying this is how the Batman died. That is infinitely worse. Wow. That is so much worse. No one's laughing now. No one's laughing now. It's, I'm loving how it's going through screenshots throughout the entire series. That's awesome. I'd be better off dead. I'm guessing there's no origin screenshots, though, is there? Couple pogging. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it have been sweet if they added some origins screenshots? Wouldn't, it, wouldn't that have been kind of sweet? I don't know. Tie it all together. It, fully acknowledge it in the credits there. Very close to five in bold. Oh my goodness. Stayed up to 3.30 a.m. for this. Did not disappoint. Thank you, Iman. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Lucas. Thanks so much, man. Thanks for the hundred. Thanks for the two as well, Scoot. Thanks very much, man. He's not laughing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm agreeing with that. I'm finished. Done. I'm through. That was a great ending. Did it need to be a hundred percent ending? I feel like this completes the game so much nicer. Like a lot of people wouldn't have one hundred percent of this. I probably wouldn't have one hundred percent of it. Maybe there's a there's a really I think the Nightfall Protocol motivator might have pushed me over the edge though, even if I didn't stream this, you know. But before the curtain call, that was just that was awesome. People kept saying Calendar Man appearance though. When when did that happen? Was he in the crowd? Yeah, the, the riddles were really good in this one, Dynamo. In the crowd behind Vicky, that's interesting. So what do you reckon? Would it have been better if they did an Arkham game after this? I don't- I actually am of the opinion that maybe they- They shouldn't have done another Batman-related one. I've kind of changed my mind. I feel like that's a really great full circle moment. And we can close it off there. Like, this story has kind of been... Kind of been told. But, uh... 
They were thinking of doing a, a Batman Beyond one, weren't they, or something? I still think their best course of action would have been to do a Superman game after this. I just feel like that's a ride off into the sunset moment. Damien Batman Beyond game would have been pretty hard. This does- it's- it's cool to see this, like, wrap up in the way that it has, though. It would have been cool if Rocksteady were the ones to make something akin to, uh, Gotham Knights. That could have been pretty cool. But this being the end feels good. It's a little bit strange for me. I, I still don't know what it is, personally, that feels weird about Bruce using the toxin. But I, I still like it. I don't know what it is that's weird. Like, how is that different to any other form of torture that he uses? I just think because he's all about, like, the... I don't know. The rehabilitation of people. It just feels kind of strange. Wait, probably because it ain't Bruce? Is there, am I missing something? It's not long-lasting? Yeah, that's true, but then you see somebody, it makes you do things. Like, you see, you see how, um, Officer Owens turned out. Like, that man is broken for life. It, it feels weird for Bruce to adopt something that is as, like, almost unfair and sadistic. You know what I mean? I don't know. And it, yeah, and it's very volatile it as well. Like it, it Gotham adds Knights was a follow up to this game with the lads trying to stop the Court of Owls without Bruce. Yeah, it could have been something like that, Dom. Maybe just like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe not the exact Gotham Knights storyline from, from as I've heard it, but something like that. Yeah. Thanks for the hundred, dude. Is interrogating someone on fear toxin entrapment? It just feels like it also adds a degree of like unpredictability more so than usual to the people that he's uh trying to take down i don't know could be wrong thanks for the 45 cameron <clears throat> thanks very much dude you will like the dlcs after this ending yeah i'm interested to see if they mention bruce at all i'm not gonna do any dlc today I i'm gonna as I have uh, said a couple of times, I'm going to start interspersing them throughout the week. We'll do like one day, we'll do the Red Hood. A couple of days later, we'll do the, uh, you know, whatever there is, Batgirl. It's not confirmed that it's Bruce. It feels like that's what it's saying. I don't know. Who else could it really be? Because I don't believe that Bruce is dead. He he's not just going to bomb the manor with him and Alfred in it and kill them, you know? It's totally brood? I think it is. I don't believe it's Azrael. And I, I wouldn't say that it's Jason either. It doesn't make much sense. Yeah, there's no reason to show it if it's not Bruce. That's exactly right. It, it would kind of... It, it's too heavily implied to be anything other than Bruce, I feel like. Like, yes, it's technically up to interpretation, but what's the expression? If you hear hooves, it's probably a horse, not a zebra. <clears throat> it's me, I am bad man. I can't believe, why would you lie to us? Um, that, it's an excellent game. No, nothing I can, uh, nothing I can say that has, that I haven't said already about this game. I mean, I've been in love with it since we started playing it. I think it's the perfect gameplay elevation, gameplay graphical elevation of City. It's fucking awesome. I enjoyed that from start to finish. I really enjoyed all the side stuff. There was a few little Riddler related things like those sonar scannable bullshit things that disappear after like a, if you get out of your car or whatever. That was a little, yeah, but very very small complaints i think the narrative was a little it had it was tackling a lot 
it could have been a little smoother. There was a few little things that Bruce did that I didn't... He, like, even that night, the nightmare fear toxin stuff. I, I don't know, but I still really enjoyed all of the pieces that they, you know, put on the table. It was, it was interesting. It was never boring, I'll say that. That is a terrifying image of Jonkler right there. I still think I enjoyed watching Asylum the most. Asylum was fun. I hadn't played an Arkham game for since I was a kid. Um, or since I was much younger when we got around to Asylum. Um, what we got was great, but imagine this game just had a little more time. Yeah, you can say that about everything. But there's definitely a few little... Little weaving things in there that maybe could have tied together a little bit tighter, but... It was really good. Really, really fun. Am I right to go through these uh, credits now? Is there anything else? Yeah, I agree. Knight's story is definitely messier. It's harder to go through and remember every little thing that happened. Nothing else? This is a moment. Congratulations. Thank you for playing Batman Arkham Knight from everyone at Rocksteady Studios. That's very sweet. Yeah, the, everybody here, you're cooked. Look at this guy with the... Is that a Riddler t-shirt in the top left there? You're cooked. Every last one of you. There's, there's not a single aspect of the game that I don't think was sizzling. So, like, gameplay-wise, the game looks like it came out fucking three minutes ago. Like, it's insane. Um... Yeah, the story was great. The The voice acting was amazing. Like, the performances... I shouldn't even just say voice acting. I'm, I'm sure they probably do did... Did they do mocap with this as well? Performance capture? I'd say they probably did. Um, well, the acting in general was fucking awesome. Um, it was awesome. It was... I don't, I don't have anything else to say. It was just, like, a great time. The entire series is, like... The Arkham series is something that I can sort of imagine recommending to somebody who had never really played games before. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, they're easy to get into, but they have enough complex elements where you can actually get, you can get good at it. Um, the stories are fun and engaging. Everybody knows who Batman is. Like, they're, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a great series. I'm so glad to have, uh, finally played night you know what a great time now we get this secret hidden cutscene where brood is i don't know having a nice conversation with the riddler about physics um all right well that's it 120 percent. i never thought i'd see the day i don't know what contributes to the gotham's greatest score so Lockie is technically still far above us but what can you do about that? What can you do about that? Arkham City is my second favorite video game of all time, right below Resident Evil 4. I need to play Resident Evil 4. It looks really good. Um, yeah, we could do a DLC tomorrow. I feel like doing one every couple of days is the move. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing next. Um, watch the opening to New Game Plus, please. It's different. Is it actually? Watch the opening to New Game Plus, please. It's different. Really? How different are we talking? Fini yeah, look, the streams are... I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what the main game might be for us next. I've got some ideas of, of some bigger streams that I would like to do to, you know... Um get some more people in here i'm thinking of some like some lego batman we've spoken about it a couple of times some of that but in terms of like a playthrough that we're doing i'm not sure i think we might hold off on telltale for a bit um telltale still will do that but uh i'm not sure we, we can now safely sprinkle some art streams back in into the mix i'm gonna finish the next couple and uh, re-enable the requests like I
I could easily have a lot of fun playing this again with all of the tools from the start. Like, I still feel like I'm so... I'm shit enough at the game to where I, it'd be fun, like going through all of the combat encounters again, all the stealth sections, and just acing them a little bit more, or, or to the best of my ability, you know, that, that would be fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do it right away. It's, it's a lot. Mind explaining what you're going to do with Fallout New Vegas? It, it, I'm, I'll keep it under wraps for a bit. I don't want to make any promises that, you know, in, in a year, people are like, why are you not doing that? I know it's an essay, but could you read this, please? Cool thought I've had about another direction they could have taken night. Have you played as both Bruce and Jason, whether it's Red Hood in the night? I think it would have been a cool way to explore Jason's motivations and give his side of the story. Getting a comment from Nagy James giving you compliments on TGB. I was thinking about one of the TGB streams where I asked about his idea. RDR2 video a few years ago and then saw he commented on TGB12 wild times. Yeah, that that is it was super wild. Thanks for the 100 dude. I'll, I'll get back to you on that in a second. Yeah, the only problem that I have with games where there's like you're playing as two characters and you're playing as the other character like in that hypothetical I imagine it's easy to make a game messy that way and to give away too much information like even though we knew who the Arkham Knight was, it was still cool to have that degree of separation where it's like, what is he doing right now that we we don't know? You know, like, what is he up to right now? It, it's You can't shoehorn that sort of... Uh, that sort of thing into a game. It has to be designed from the ground up f for it to work. Like, Grand Theft Auto V does it amazingly. Um, and uh, you could argue Last of Us 2 doesn't do it perfectly it definitely cuts the pacing and just stomps on it but i think it, it redeems itself towards the end of abby's story but um yeah gta 5 is a really great example of making that work super hard to make that work if you've ever tried riding something before one thing that you might come into uh, one roadblock that you might hit is you focus in on a couple of main characters right and then you want to make sure that that list of of main characters doesn't grow too large because what ends up happening is you still need to get around to the side characters as well and it starts to feel like um they're just like standing there silently doing nothing in your story for a long time like all right this is a weirder example you ever made a stop motion animation and you're you're so busy animating the two main dudes doing something that every character in the background is just static doing nothing and it looks really strange um that's that's kind of what ends up happening sometimes uh but yeah strange example but thanks for thanks for being here line appreciate it dude have a good sleep you deserve it um how would you feel if the knight's identity was never revealed only his motives and the player has to figure out who it is if it's still jason i think no like the who again is not really the cool part i think it, it would have been better if they focused a bit more on why Jason was doing what he was doing rather than like leaving the big reveal to be who it is because it was very obvious um 145 out of 146 who are we missing here who is this our oh, combat specialist yeah the enemies in this game looked awesome as well like really good Who am I? What am I missing here? Ah, the 240% costume. I forgot that was a thing. Gotham taxi moment. Man, the models in this game are fucking insane, right? Look at how cool this red hood costume is. That, one of my favorite moments in the game, even though Jason's reveal is a little bit, you know, lackluster. Um, th the moment when the sort of technology graphics of his helmet went from the black and sort of blue to the full red was awesome that was crazy i loved that from from uh from that and then it just went all red and and what happened the ears fucking popped off that is so large dude i wish we could play as bruce unmasked as well it kind of goes hard i feel like this should be a costume you know pretty crazy 
Um, all right. Ugly Bruce model? I don't think he's ugly. I think he's a good-looking dude who's very clearly weathered. You know what I mean? He looks fucking awful. But you can tell that if he was living a healthy lifestyle, he'd be a looker, you know? But look at, like, he's been through 10 years of absolute, like, longer than that as well, technically. But, you know, years and years of bullshit. Respectfully disagree? Really? There's some... Bruce Ugly Believers? Am I still upset about the eyes? You mean when he's wearing the, uh... Why is his mouth so wide? I think he's got a pretty nice looking mouth. I don't know. I'm surprised. I think he's got a- I think he's got a perfectly fine mouth. He's just been through some shit. Um... Am I still annoyed about the eyes? I was never really annoyed about the eyes. God, Mr. Freeze looks awesome in this game. Yeah, the, Mr. Freeze has to have red glowing goggles. It has to. Um, where is Brood, man? Where's the regular Brood? Why would Batman not be at the top? Where is his model? Do we not get a Batman model? Oh, there's multiple pages. God, I'm an idiot. It's in the... Yeah, okay. No, look, the, the eyes are, um... The eyes are fine. They just look pretty funny sometimes because he looks traumatized, but it kind of works for the story, you know? He does have that three billion yard stare, but that's fine. He looks pretty cool. Bloodshot eyed and all. Um... But yeah, I think that's where we'll call it. Thank you very much, everybody. That was uh, a really lovely experience. He is traumatized, exactly right. Um, yeah, we will we will get in order what the streams are going to look like for the foreseeable future. I'm pretty excited, honestly. Sad as I am to see the game finished. You know, it's nice. We had some finality there. Um. Just a, yeah, a really good time from, from start to finish. Art, art related stuff will be sprinkled back in. We'll do a DLC every couple of days. Um, it's just deciding on what the main sort of thing is. It will be interesting, you know? Um, but yeah, that is indeed all she wrote. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, as always. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for being here. Let me just get this music back. I want to run back through in case I miss in case I missed any any bits and stuff. Um Where are we here? Did I miss anything here? Uh thank you, uh James for the six bits, King Fu for the hundred, lols for the hundred. Um Thanks James, thanks Dom, thanks Iz for the ten bits. Um <clears throat> thanks Lols for the Three month uh, prime. Thank you very much. Thanks for the 100 bits, Adam. Thanks for the 10, Adam. Um, various different bits and bobs here. Thanks for the 100, CJ. Um, thanks for the 30, Alexa. <clears throat> thanks for the resub, Alexa. Thanks for the 400 bits, CJ. The 100, Ethan. The 100, Dom. The 100, Cameron. The 100, Line. The, the three, James. I mean, can we take a step back for a moment? Um, thanks for the 100, Lemons. Thanks for the 100 scoot. <clears throat> Thanks for the 45 line. Thanks for the 5 gifted outlaw. Thanks a lot, dude. I appreciate that. Um, thanks for the 100 Ethan. The gifted from Frenzy. The 100 from Cameron. The 2 from Scoot. I mean, what can I say? The 100 from Lucas. The 100 from Dom. Thank you for the 45 Cameron. Um, thank you for the 100 Dom. The 100 Dom again. And the 100 Scoot. What can I say? And thanks for the bit, Dom. You're a legend. All right. Thank you, everybody. Um, oh wait, I forgot that there is that, uh, that one other 120% bonus that you get. It's, um, uh, what, what is it? It's a DLC Ultra Pack Mega Meal XL, um, I forget what they call it. Uh, they served with the 100% large Big Mac meal with the Coke Zero. Oh, Jesus. It started right in the middle. That's what we like to see. All right, thank you, everybody. Have a good rest Why of your day. So Why so serious? Why so serious?